I wanna be the best in the game. Invest in my name. Check no restraints. I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain, assess, and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout, and fame. Mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate. Have to play the game. Have to make a name. All our insecurities are on this display. This is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy. All I got is working. Never stop searching. Never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic. You can't stop it. It's been chronic since I was a boy. So neurotic and chaotic. Go. Oh. I'm on it. I just wanna be iconic. Sipping on a gin and tonic. Got me going off when I'm on this topic. Yeah. If I ever play, I want it. You know that I'm always honest. Stay away from those who are toxic. Keep my face, no way you don't want it. Yeah. Don't try to drain my energy. The enemy is everything. It's mentally unhealthily spreading like a rare disease. But I won't let it get to me. I don't need your therapy. I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity. Come on, we can fight this. Freedom is Priceless, spread just like a virus, living in a crisis. Do you feel courageous? Do you see greatness? Trust me, you can take it. Go on and take your aim. I'm still too lost with the webs I'm weaving. I could change the past with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas, never stop competing. If you break the glass, then this life's gonna eat and make mistakes real fast. Then I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, all our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy, think that it was meant to be, living in a time where disease is on every screen, I won't let them fester me, I know most are festering, negativity is a plague for the mentally weak, no mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty, I'm toxic and psychotic, with this logic, you can't stop it, it's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic, I'm go! I'm too lost with the webs I'm weaving, I can change the past with all I'm achieving, got my foot on gas, never stop competing, if you break the glass, then this life's gonna eat and make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them. Off the cast, you can see all the healing if the pain's in the past. Move on from the grave and put your foot on the gas. Don't never stop competing. Yeah. I've been doing this, I'm on it. I just wanna be iconic. Sipping on a gin and tonic. Got me going off when I'm on this topic. Yeah. If I ever play, I want it. You know that I'm always honest. Stay away from those who are toxic. Keep my face, no way you don't want it. Yeah. Don't try to drain my energy. The enemy is everything. It's mentally unhealthily spreading like a rare disease.
Hey y'all, how y'all doing out there? Y'all already know, skip. Y'all know when y'all hear the music, y'all hear the music, or well, skip past that and get straight to the show. How y'all doing out there? Good to see you. We're gonna give it a couple of minutes for some people to come on up in here. We start the show. We play games, you skip it till we start the show. Okay. All right. Now, Titty Little Ex Worker is what they call her, as her man called her, but he wasn't a good man to her. And he didn't even claim it, <laughs> he didn't even claim the baby. He's not, well, he's your favorite. He is ain't a good man. Ain't nothing wrong with not being a good man, right? <laughs> y'all want to date him, go right ahead, you know? He get to stay single for y'all, right? Because he's a P-I-M. M, he's a P-I-M. P. <laughs> He's a P-I-M-P, baby. Hey, Sunday, what's up, mama? What is up, right? Well, we can ready to start this, right? Because, woo we now we're going to start this. Yes, we is. Hey, Sunday. Hey, Angela. Yeah, we're going to start this, baby, because they're coming in late and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Curtis Jackson, who, better known as 50 Cent, has been in several high-profile relationships. But it's his previous romance with model and actress Daphne Joy that has raised some eyebrows in recent days. Some eyebrows, baby. Based on some current allegations, we decided to take a deeper look into all the aspects of their relationship. And guess what, besties? It's a hot, stinking mess. Alexis, I know it. Before we jump into today's video, we gotta plug our little candy shop. <laughs> our online concession stand at rrgsnacks.com has a bunch of five-star goodies for you to eat. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Y'all gonna hear something. Cause they all, all of them got the same. Mm -mm. Y'all gonna hear some stuff, baby. Yes, you is. Life. She appeared on the January 2010 cover of Smooth Magazine, and she reportedly started dating comedian D. Ray Davis. D. Ray. Well, I'm sure when she and D. Ray broke up, but by the summer of 2011, she was spotted out with 50 at exotic locations. She even helped him celebrate his 36th birthday at parties in Las Vegas and Atlanta. Weeks after celebrating his birthday, sources reported their relationship was over. Grand opening, grand close. A Twitter user asked him about his status with Daphne, and the father of one reportedly replied that he was single. But things weren't completely over for them. They were photographed together once again, and D-Ray must have felt some kind of way about his ex moving on with 50. In September 2011, he took to his Twitter to write, How you model for smooth if you're coochie bumpy? Ooh, oh, ooh, the ooh. Her coochie is what? Bumpy. Come again now. <laughs> 50 Cent hit. He hitting bumpy. He hitting the bumpy coochie. Yes, he is. He hitting the bumpy stuff. That wasn't the right one. That one neither, <laughs> right? That's for the bump. That's for the bumpy coochie. Yes, he hitting the. Did, did you hear the bumpy cooch cooch? Yes, yes, and yes. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe I didn't hear that right. He later deleted the tweet. So y'all gonna gloss right on over the bumpy coochie, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. As the years passed, they never officially confirmed the status of the relationship. And then in 2013, all hell broke loose. Say it with me, besties. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Tiffany was accused of ransacking Daphne's bedroom during a June 2013 argument at her Los Angeles condo. Daphne told police that 50 made $7,100 worth of damages in her condo. And when she locked herself in her bedroom, he kicked the door open and kicked her. Police found broken chandeliers, destroyed furniture throughout the home, clothes thrown all over the place, a broken television, and a broken lamp. What the hell wrong with him? What the hell was he so mad about? Maybe he didn't like bumpy coochies. Bop, but a bop, 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 bop. What was most surprising about the allegations was the police report, where investigators dropped a bombshell. 50 and Daphne had secretly welcomed a child. Yup. Daphne had quietly given birth to a baby boy named Sire Jackson in September 2012, which was about nine months before their domestic incident went down. In a statement, her local... So, maybe he fought her when she was knocked up? But why was the baby a secret? Is that because the, the JJ was bumpy? We don't know. Uh, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. We don't know. And why didn't he claim her? And why he took her from D-Ray? Why you hurt D-Ray D feelings like that? What D-Ray do you don't want to D-Ray's girlfriend? And she's a little, little ex worker. And she's a little ex worker. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. What y'all? What are y'all saying so far? This. That's exactly why Vivica was talking about. Somebody else said this man who was big, baby. But you know she gonna tell it. Hey, Taryn, how you doing, sweetie? Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't forget to throw some hearts up in here. Throw some hearts up in here. Or throw some smiley faces. Uh-huh. Some 100s. Don't forget to throw some, keep throwing them hearts up in here. Flood this thing with hearts, right? Now, what y'all saying? What y'all saying? Hey, Chance, how you doing? Peace, my brother. Peace, my brother. What's up, Sunday? What's up, Angela? So we're gonna get back. We're gonna get back into this. He done took the took the girl from D Ray. He ain't tell nobody about Sire. Everybody thinking, oh, he he the best dad to Sire. No, he was not. He only wants Sire now because his rival Diddy. He doesn't want Diddy to become a Diddy to become a Quincy. I mean, he doesn't want his son to become a Quincy. Because Diddy own your kid. Once Diddy get your kid. So I'm going to rewind it back a little bit so you guys can keep up what's going on. Mm hmm. Yeah, child, I know I'm going to bring it. You guys know I'm going to bring it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. gonna gloss right on over the bumpy coochie huh <laughs> oh okay as the year passed they never officially confirmed the status of their relationship and then in 2013 all hell broke loose say it with me besties here we go <laughs> here we go 50 was accused of ransacking daphne's bedroom during a june 2013 argument at her los angeles Hondo. Daphne told police that 50 made $7,100 worth of damages in her condo. And when she locked herself in her bedroom, he kicked the door open and kicked her. Police found broken chandeliers, destroyed furniture throughout the home, clothes thrown all over the place, a broken television, and a broken lamp. Dad, 50. What the hell was he so mad about? Maybe he didn't like bumpy coochies. <laughs> Coochie was smooth. Is that it? What was most surprising about the allegations was the police report, where investigators dropped a bombshell. 
50 and Daphne had secretly welcomed a child. Yup! Daphne had quietly given birth to a baby boy named Sire Jackson in September 2012, which was about nine months before their domestic incident went down. In a statement, her lawyer said, Daphne Joy and Curtis Jackson have been together for a few years in an exclusive relationship. They had a child, and now Daphne's number one priority is to ensure both her and the baby's safety during this difficult time. However, the Los Angeles city attorney referred to Daphne as 50's former girlfriend. 50 was facing up to five years in prison, but he took a plea deal and was ordered to do 30 days of community service and he was placed on three years probation. By that point, it appeared that their romantic relationship was over. Bye, Angie. It wasn't until January 2014 that 50 publicly acknowledged their son, Sire. Then came July 2015. You heard that? In order to pay Rick Ross's baby mama $5 million after he posted a sex tape of her and another man online in order to... As you see that, he did not publicly claim that little boy. Did y'all hear that? He did not publicly claim that little boy. He wasn't he wasn't good to that son neither. Exactly, Angela. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> to get under Rick's skin. Weeks later, 50 filed for personal bankruptcy in Connecticut. He took time. However, the Los Angeles city attorney referred to Daphne as 50's former girlfriend. 50 was facing up to five years in prison, but he took a plea deal and was ordered to do 30 days of community lamp. The hell wrong with him? The hell was he so mad about? Maybe he didn't like Bobby Coochies. <laughs> Bobby Coochie was smooth. Is that it? What was most surprising about the allegations was the police report, where investigators dropped a bombshell. 50 and Daphne had secretly welcomed a child. Yup! Daphne had quietly given birth to a baby boy named Sire Jackson in September 2012, which was about nine months before their domestic incident went down. In a statement, her lawyer said, Daphne Joy and Curtis Jackson have been together for a few years in an exclusive relationship. They had a child, and now Daphne's number one priority is to ensure both her and the baby's safety during this difficult time. However, the Los Angeles city attorney referred to Daphne as 50's former girlfriend. 50 was facing up to five years in prison, but he took a plea deal and was ordered to do 30 days of community service and he was placed on three years probation. By that point, it appeared that their romantic relationship was over. Bye, Angie. It wasn't until January 2014 that 50 publicly acknowledged their son, Sire. Then came July 2015. 50 was ordered to pay Rick Ross's baby mama $5 million after he posted a sex tape of her and another man online in order to get under Rick's skin. Weeks later, 50 filed for personal bankruptcy in Connecticut. He told the court he was only worth about $4.4 million and his online displays of wealth were all smoke and mirrors. Look at him trying to get out of that lawsuit. <laughs> his lawyer told the court that 50's bank account was approaching $0 because of unpaid debts, which included $1,737 he owed to his grandfather. Not him borrowing money from Paul Paul. <laughs> as for 50, he told the court, now that I filed for bankruptcy, I'm not as cool as I was last week. Uh huh. Fake, fake, and fake. Yeah, he's thinking people ain't got no money. The most interesting part about his bankruptcy filing was the revelation that Daphne was only receiving $1,267 per month in child support, and his first child's mother, Shaniqua Tompkins, was receiving a little over $6,000 per month. Oh, really? What happened to have a baby by me, baby? Be a millionaire. <laughs> well, have a baby have by you be zero, a zero here. In the fall of 2015, BET.com reported that 50 flooded his social media account with pictures of his and Daphne's son, Sire, during the 2015 holidays. But when Daphne and Jason went public with their romance by posting intimate vacation pictures, 50 suddenly removed all the photos of his son, Sire, from his Instagram. You see that? 
50 turned the pettiness up a notch by commenting on a photo of Daphne and Jason with, but don't worry, baby, I'm fine, just a little shook up, LMAO, good morning. Oh, your feeling was hurt. <laughs> After about six months of dating, a source told TMZ that Daphne ended things with Jason. Jason moved on and later made Jenna Frumez a single mother. Y'all messy as hell. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Is back on raising her son, and she and 50 patched up their friendship as well. Now, let's fast forward to July 2018. 50 was having a very busy month. After Remy Ma shared a picture of her slimmed down figure on Instagram, 50 left a comment that read, Damn, Remy, you lost bad weight. Hey, Slim. With his thirsty ass. Apparently, Remy's husband, Papoose, wasn't feeling that comment. Papoose responded, Damn, Daphne Joy, no wedding yet? If 50 Cent doesn't marry you, I'll introduce you to my homeboy. He's more mature. I left she was more mature than 50 Cent. And then two weeks later, 50 was involved in another online feud. This time it was with his on again, off again friend, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd posted a photo from his son's high school graduation, and 50 made fun of the boxer's literacy in the comments. A week after 50's shady comment, Floyd's ghostwriter, y'all so messy. <laughs> I mean, Floyd took to his Instagram to post a lengthy response. The post, which is still on Floyd's account after all these years, drops some interesting tea. The boxer called 50 a certified snitch who hasn't had a hit song on the radio in years. A snitch. Floyd then mm -hmm. accused 50 of living in an apartment in New Jersey and staying in other people's business just to stay relevant. The most damaging part of the clapback was when Floyd wrote, so quick to gossip like a... Why don't you tell everybody how you got herpes from DJ? Oh, say what now? Not the bumpy culture. That drop of tea also led people to revisit D Ray's statement he made back in 2011 about someone on the cover of Smooth magazine having a bumpy coochie. And the Nestle crunch is going on in Hollywood. Floyd ended his message by saying, Just remember, I was with you every day, and your driver, Bruce, was my driver also. I know where all your bones are buried. So be easy, Curtis Jackson. Not the government name. But mm. it wasn't done. In another post, Floyd included a photo of Maury Povich along with side-by-side -side photos of 50 and his sons, Sire and Marquise. In his caption, Floyd took shots at 50's strained relationship with Marquise. And then Floyd added, don't worry, Marquise. Uncle Floyd still got you. I would hold little man down too, but you're still not sure if he really belongs to you. Yeah. Oops. Bumpy coochie and questionable paternity. Jesus. The years passed by and 50 started a relationship with a woman named Jamira Haynes in 2019. As for Daphne, well, the rumors about the alleged snap, crackle, pop still couldn't keep the ninjas away. In April 2021, she was spotted out with Diddy. 50 reposted the image on his Instagram along with the caption, Nah, me and Puff fight over business shit. He liked a girl, he liked a girl. I don't give a f Daphne would go on publicly to express her admiration for Diddy by reposting one of his shirtless photos. While looking through Daphne's Instagram account, we noticed that not only is Diddy following her, but Joy Chavis is following her too. And Daphne is following them back. In case you're unaware, Joy and Diddy were spotted swapping spit on a yacht back in September 2021. That means Daphne was hanging out with him before Joy played tonsil hockey with him. Oops. And the sister wives is going on with him. Although 50 appeared to be unbothered by Daphne's new romance, in September 2022, he turned the pettiness up a notch. After Daphne posted a photo of herself enjoying Diddy's iHeart Radio Music Festival performance, 50 shared a picture of him and his son, along with the caption, Oh, that's your mommy over there with Puffy, LOL. Remember what I told you the other day? These be crazy, SMH. At that point, Daphne had had enough. She commented on his post, Please stop doing this to me. I never bother you. And I'm an outstanding mother to our son. Can we please just focus on that? Nope. Please? Nope. Diddy got sued by his ex-girlfriend Cassie in November 2023, and they settled the lawsuit one day later. Of course, 50 couldn't help but taunt Diddy over the matter. 50 also
also announced that he was creating a documentary about all of the allegations. Diddy was hit with more legal issues, including a $30 million lawsuit filed by his former producer, Rodney Jones. In court docs, Rodney claimed Daphne and Diddy's other girlfriend, Young Miami, were sex workers who were hired by Diddy. Rodney went on to say Diddy paid the woman a monthly fee to be a part of his harem. Without tagging Daphne, 50 captioned an Instagram photo. I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. LOL. On March 28, 2024, a source close to 50 told Us Weekly that due to the allegations about Daphne's involvement with Diddy, 50 was going to ask a court for sole custody of their son. Daphne took to her Instagram to deny all of Rodney's allegations. And then in a separate post, she aired 50 out. She accused 50 of only seeing their son 10 times in two years before launching into allegations that 50 forcefully took advantage of her. She added that he had damaged the last hope she had for him as a father to preserve their family. She added, you have broken our hearts for the last and final time. Now, keep in mind, sources have reported that she made these allegations against 50 after he made it known he was going to ask for full custody of their son. 50 didn't directly respond to the allegations against him. Instead, he posted a photo of Diddy and Daphne on his Instagram and wrote, You moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back, and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now here we are, little sex worker. This ninja, he got big ass baby ninja. He gonna cry in the car. <laughs> His ass should have stayed with Mythical Fox. Hell, she had all that profit from her wig collection, okay? She grown, she a woman of a particular age. She don't do drama or mess. She would have reeled his ass on in. Could have been somewhere eating crumpets and drinking tea, hell, with their pinky finger. Do y'all think 50 will win full custody? Or will Daphne use their past domestic issue and his alleged detachment from their son against him in a court of law? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching this. What y'all think? What y'all think? His little. I know a little girl named Daphne. They call her up. He met her in a magazine paper. With a magazine. He said, how'd you like to waste some time? I could mind myself and started to. He said, I woke up the next morning. Daphne wasn't there. <laughs> you got that right. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Let's keep it going. The question was, or the question is, are there more workers? Hey, Billy Gates, how you doing? Yeah, I was muted for a second. <laughs> now, let's find out, was there more workers? 
this credit goes to Docs, D-O-C-Z. Go check out Docs and tell them Sugar sent you. Right, but this credit goes to Docs. Now let's go, Dad. Let's, let's see if there's some more little ex-workers. Little ex-workers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exposed. Diddy created a hell of a facade. Uh, man, bulletproof. The facade is excellent. You can't get mad at it. Because if you do say anything wrong or anything about Mary J. Blige, you talking about every black woman in America. That's how they built her. She's the ghetto representative. And she's sad, she lonely, she hurting, and she in pain. And if you say something wrong about this woman, damn, she's sexy. If you say something wrong about her, you talking about every sister in America. They built Mary J. Blige to where you ain't got no choice but to respect her like your mama. And how Diddy was able to do that is because he made Mary J. Blige exactly like his mama. I gotta see this, man. He made minions out of his mother. And Mary J. Blige just so happened to be one of them. We ain't got around the faith that. Yeah. yeah. Did he definitely got a type? He, she, he got Mary Blige making faces like his mama. Look at this, y'all. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York just issued a digital dollar, effectively replacing paper money with nothing more than a government-controlled computer program. Now the New York Fed is the sole agent of the entire Federal Reserve system. And because it also teamed up with Citibank, MasterCard, Wells Fargo, and five other banking giants, uh, this shocking development now means 190 million Americans will be forced to use the Fed's digital dollar as soon as December of 23. It's crazy. But while the establishment media is hush-hush about it, many experts are sounding the alarm, including leading voices like Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson. Even the president of the Federal Reserve of Minneapolis recently warned that this central bank digital currency is a way to directly tax you and track all your transactions. Sadly, many Americans are okay with sleepwalking into a socialist state. But I'm your puppet. He gave her everything she got from the door not shoot. And just like a facade, let me, let me just play something for you. And this ain't no disrespect. No, no, nope, we're just going down the rabbit hole. Look at this, man. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to make a point. If this man ever take off that clock, <laughs> it's game over. Ain't it? The lights out. When he take that clock off, that's when his time is going to run out. And he ain't going to uh, ever do that. He got to keep it on. And I say that to say, but Mary J. Blige, Wearing them 1985 door knocker earrings in 2024. That's because that's the gimmick. Just like Flavor Flav's clock, she got to wear what Diddy gave her because that's how people recognize her. And if she ever dye that shit another color, oh, stop. Stop. Take out the door <laughs> it's going to be game over for Mary. She's still living off the gift that this man created. Diddy got a hell of a facade himself, but he also blessed people with their facades, like Biggie Smalls, and their horrible facades. Biggie's facade got him killed. Mace facade had him running to the Lord. <laughs> Craig Max facade, all that flavor in your ear, was hearing voices allegedly. Mm -mm -mm. The locks. They still got the facade that Diddy provided, even mm -hmm. though they taking shots at him when they was calling themselves the Warlocks, like a rock and roll band. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Mary J. Blige is hanging on to the facade, but she had this to say about Diddy. Look at this man. 
Unfortunately, a lot of you all met me when I lacked boundaries and I was a people pleaser. Let oh, me man. reintroduce myself. Let me reintroduce myself. I burn, I burn bridges, bridges as, as needed. Baby, if you burn them bridges. Mm hmm. 112. Your ass gonna burn too. Because you was the main one. Allegedly. Oh, man. Come on. Let's just do this real quick. Because we got to get the uh, Faith Evans. This man. She got her swag. From Diddy's. Let me see how my likes are looking. How my likes looking, boss Jackie? How are my likes looking? How are these likes looking? Cause I'm bringing you, the, I'm bringing you the goods, baby. I'm bringing you the goods. Look at these pictures. Look at these pictures. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, thank you guys. We good. We are good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Let's go. Baby mama. And she got her swag from Diddy's mama. Damn, Mary J. Bly sexy. And no disrespect to Mary. She, she don't think Diddy don't know that. Y'all don't think for a second that Diddy didn't give Mary J. Bly the side eye. And he willing to stick his finger in Lil Rod booty allegedly, even though he still had on his clothes. Oh Lil Kim went out there and got plastic surgery to look like Misa. What? It's one thing to steal her swag, but to steal her face? Come on, Lil Kim. Did he mm, did, did it? She wanted to be Misa. So look did how they used it. to look. Misa used to look like Misa, Mary like Mary, and Kim like Kim, man. But that just wasn't good enough for Kim. She wanted this took somebody, face to granted. be her face. When you look at Misa, <laughs> you look like it seemed like you're looking at Lil Kim. Oh I see that, but that's Negro here, no. There, you see who she was in company with, and they all sit around talking about. <laughs> that's all they want to do. They all talk about the Diddy. One man that uh -huh. can provide, and that's willing to provide. They all just want to sit around talking about Diddy. Oh look at this man. Mary J. Blige did a show with her, Taraji P. Henson, and young motherfucking Miami talking about abusive relationships. What do all these women have in common? Help me understand. Look at this, man. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Oh, my goodness. We got to do this before we get around to Faith Evans. And I need y'all to be this part. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like. Hit that notification. Right, right we're now. not trying to clarify anything. We just going through theories saying that Mary J. Blige had a romantic relationship with Diddy. And that's how they was able to make all of that beautiful passion. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Are you watching the replay? Like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Yes, yes, and yes. And we going down this rabbit hole. Thank you for being here. Now let's go. <laughs> music when they were still together, especially after she broke up with KC and made that My Life album. It was just her and Diddy in the studio during rainy days. Incense and candles burn. And Lord have mercy. Y'all need to see this real quick. Mine is horrific. Like, why didn't you say something then? Because we just want to live. We want to be happy. And we really want to forget the trauma. Diddy's former backup dancer, Tanika Ray, speaking Hey, out. Paula. Wake of federal home raids, sex trafficking allegations, and speculation. The 
an adult music mogul could face criminal charges. Since then, I've been like, yep, I have a lot of stories, y'all. Maybe I'll write a book one day. Law enforcement had enough to get the search warrant. They maybe even have enough to get an indictment. And if so, I expect Diddy to be arrested in a matter of days. And no Listen to me. Mary J. Blige is the R&B Oprah Winfrey, man. That's all she is. Best believe she getting calls. They want to sit down and they want to talk about her personal experience. Mary could use the money. And if she busts out crying and participate with the madness, she already in the victim chair. Why wouldn't she go for it? They on the phone, they Gail King. They want to hear Mary's side of the story. She was, what was it like dealing with Diddy? I've been keeping this a secret my whole life. My whole life, Oprah. I ain't never want to tell nobody because I ain't want people to look at me like I was weak. I went through hell. Oh, <laughs> calm down. Can, can, can somebody get her a napkin? Can somebody get her a napkin? Oh, my I went through hell, Oprah. And my, he told me, he told me that I couldn't sing for shit. Mm. He told me that gay. it wasn't my vocals, it was the music. And he took credit for everything, Oprah. Did he really say that? He did. He said, I can't dance. Oh they wouldn't allow me to dance at Uptown because I was embarrassing the company. Oh, that's awful. They told me they had to turn up the samples to drown out my real vocals so people could barely hear me. Oh nah, Mary J. Blow. You, Mary. Mary be blowing. Lord have mercy. Oh, oh Mary be blowing. The black or the old, I want an old Blackberry. I'm about to get on eBay and see if I could find one of them old phones. Oh oh, I, don't, I hope y'all don't think I was talking about Oprah, but damn, the older, the black or the berry, the juice is heavenly. It, look, man, we, we gonna get back to the video. Cause y'all bad boys come bad out and play. And we come out and about. play. Let's make sure we even got say the bad rolling. boys come Over out and floor. play. It must be a full moon or some shit. Cause we got to get around to what happened with Faith Evans. Y'all got to listen at this man. Listen hard. We about to talk about Faith. We gonna get off Mary for a minute and deal with strictly Faith for a little while. Y'all ready for that? Matter of fact, let me see if y'all in the building, man. Is y'all even watching out there? What's going on? How do the music sound? Do I need to turn it down? Do I need to turn it up? Y'all gonna have to let me know. We got Sadai Home, Charlotte Watts, Ken Gold, G. Farrow. I seen the homie Brian M. in the building. Lance Hero King, legend. What it do, dog? Angela Reddick, Lady K. Eric Alonzo. And shout out to my members, man. We got 12 in the building. Ella, Ella. Is that how you say your name? Look, we family now. I got to figure that out ASAP. Mm -hmm. Write it in the comment section and sound it out because I need to put some respect on your name. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Robin Freeman. She said it sounds good. Okay, we good. Everything sounds good. All right, let's get in to Faith Evans. <sighs> It goes like this, man. Faith is a horrible facade for this woman, man. And I get why Puff named her Faith out of spite, because he the devil. Ooh. And he was grinning when he had her call herself Faith. Because ain't nothing about her faithful whatsoever. It's a horrible gimmick. She ain't been able to live up to that gimmick for nothing. As soon as I get home, her husband will be a corpse by the time she ah, get home. Ah, 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 when she get ah. home, if you waiting on her, you're going to be a skeleton. But that's not what they was talking about in the song. Y'all got to listen at this, man. Yo, Reg, get that set up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. Go ahead. Play that. Harmonies and all that stuff. I was pretty proficient 
at recording myself way before, <clears throat> excuse me, I was an actual recording artist. You know, I just used to enjoy those things. You know, I was always around it, you know, even doing little gospel records and stuff. But um, when I actually offered a deal by Puff, to be honest, um, I was just there to take my daughter's dad um, to the studio. They were actually trying to get a song placed on Usher's album, which Puff was executive producing at that time. Um. Her baby daddy took her into the studio so he can record a song with Puff and somehow, some way, we don't know who the hell he is, but she's I'll be sure. right now. She was with Al, be sure. Mm. He come up mm. there to baby crying. I'll be strong, baby. She's Yo, like, man, I'll I'll put my little greedy, greedy balls down. You no, know, got baby girl in the lounge. She's sitting waiting, man. My baby, I got a blow, puff. I got a blow. You know, I'm gonna be the next one. The next no, Curtis blow. No, no, no. no. Be the next Curtis blow, man. My baby. Hold up. Wah, wah, wah. She was talking about, I'll be sure. Mm hmm. I'll be sure she was writing for it. Isn't that something? Where's she at? Oh, let me drop the link in case you want to come up, Queen. Let's not forget when she first came in. She came in working with Mr. I'll be. I tell you, I'll be sure. She was writing for I'll be sure. And that, I, I keep trying to tell you, I'll be sure was in it first. Hey, Mustafa. Welcome. How you doing? How are you? There's a case, my girl, Lakeisha. The link is only for Lakeisha. So you mean to tell me that he took two up, I'll be sure. No, he didn't take, uh, he didn't take a, when she was writing, she was a writer first and she was putting together songs for I'll be sure. So he didn't take her, but <laughs> who knows? Who knows? And who knows? When I know, I, I don't know. These days, we don't know all we know. Did it, did it allegedly? Remember, this everything here is allegedly for entertainment purpose only. Everything is alleged. We don't know nothing. Good afternoon for you, even or something. How are you, beautiful queen? <laughs> I'm good. Good evening, queen. How are you? I am fine. No, not that um, Puffy had two of Al's girls. <laughs> My girl, you don't have everybody, girl. As we see, 50 girl, this one girl, his son girl. Uh, right. <laughs> he on a roll. He on a roll. Yeah. On a roll, okay? <laughs> he was on a roll, baby. <laughs> But I just wanted to clear up what. Yeah. Uh oh. I just wanted to clear up. Tiny boy, these games, boy, these games, video games. Yes. Let's go. Stay they uh, gotta do they it, Puff. Or else, man, it's just I gotta do or die. Please. And somehow, some way, that man ain't getting no damn deal. But Shorty in the lounge with the baby crying. Shorty, light skinned Shorty with the rosy cheeks, just for coming around the studio. You can't bring your chick around Puff. Last time somebody bought his chick around Puff, he got her a record deal. Oh my goodness. 
he snapped, he bagged his chick. Puff had faith before Biggie. Do y'all get mm, yeah. he, 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 he the one with the regular label. Remember when Tupac said that he had to pay chicks just so they could be with Biggie? Uh-oh. I used to have to pay chicks to he talked about it on Hit Him Up. <laughs> oh my god. Now Biggie used to sleep on his couch and he had to pay chicks just to touch him. Lies. Where do you think I he got lies. that from? I said lies. Tupac met Biggie through Puffy. So if Tupac had to bribe chicks and then he turned around and married Faith Evans, whose idea do you think that was? Oh and this is alleged. Yeah. Out of yeah. allegations and speculations. Exactly. Listen at this. Entertainment Hold on, Ray. Let's get that set up right. Y'all need to listen at this this is a trip and no disrespect to these queens but y'all gotta hear this man write songs and you know the harmonies and all that stuff i was pretty proficient at recording myself way before <clears throat> excuse me i was the actual recording artist you know i just used to enjoy don't pay anything to fix your roof. New York City homeowners can get a free roof while paying zero out of those things. You know, I was always around it, you know, even doing little gospel records and stuff. But, um, when yeah, I this year, and it was Stevie J, not all the people. The deal, my my mind. Mind. To be honest, um, I never understood I how she ended there up with to Phoebe. take my daughter's dad Phoebe. <laughs> um, to the studio. They were. See how she's shrugging her shoulders when she talking about that man? How she's shrugging it off like it don't even matter. She talking nonchalantly with the shoulders jumping up and down and no wonder Stevie J was acting like he wanted to crack her head. How you gonna sleep with a nigga, nigga in my house? How you gonna sleep with somebody in my house? You dirty, he, he hated her guts. And I would play the clip, but we gonna keep it rolling. Yeah, keep it rolling, we don't need to get in no trouble. Her shoulders bounce a billion times when she was talking about her baby dad. Hold on, man. This gospel records and stuff. But um she got three baby dad. When I actually got offered a deal by Puff, to be no honest, one, um two, I was just there to eight. take my daughter's dad um to the studio. They were actually trying she do one shoulder. The right shoulder, the left shoulder, then jump both of them bitches at the same time. I tell you, I be watching that body language. She invented the bank had bounce when she talking about her ex boyfriends and baby dads. Hold on, man. Look at this. Daughter's dad um, to the studio. They were actually trying to get a song placed on Usher's album, which Puff was executive producing at that time, Usher's first album. So I wasn't even there for deal. He needed someone to sing. Hold on, wait, wait a minute. So when he was Usher, he was looking for rappers some dude, Faith Evans, came in there and he put Faith on Usher's record. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Play. Run that back a little bit. Yeah, bro. Just a teeny little bit. Okay, go ahead. So I wasn't even there in the capacity of looking for a record deal. He needed someone to sing one line. And they knew that I could sing, so they called me. I'll be sure. And 
one or two lines and but I've already again been writing and arranging stuff around my little friends Christopher Williams little camp who I used to um my daughter's dad was a part of his production crew so you know it was just something I was good wait, wait, at wait 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 so she was rocking with Christopher Williams. Hold on, hold on. I'm confused. Her cause... dude, they was in there, they was trying to get on in the industry. Hold up. So they was trying to make Well, it. how long was Usher there? Because I don't remember Usher being out when Christopher Williams was doing his thing. Because Christopher Williams is more old school, right? Can you see if I'm not there? Hold on. Do we about to say that? Correct. That is correct, and I do okay. not remember Usher being around th that time. No, I know he was thirteen, unless he was there since ten. Like, hold up, now we are confused. <laughs> what you say? It now I gotta listen to all Usher records, right? <laughs> to hear her one little note, like she said, we are confused. Not saying she didn't, but I. I think they're leaving out. She was there under I'll be sure, right? She was writing and constructing songs for him. And her her daughter's father, who knows Christopher Williams. Remember, all of them were uptown. So she as what you call a uh, uh, inside writer, right? And again, these connections yeah. are so crazy. And at that time, um, that was still bringing Kimberly. Them, uh, may she rest in peace, because she was um, the secretary there. And at that point, she would be, she would be, uh, I'll be Shaw's thing back then. His girl back then, or they she must was have broke Andre back then. Uh, secretary, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. So I think the way she's saying that, and being that he didn't pay certain pieces, that might be confusing a little bit of people. But the way she's saying, even with that clip, I'm like, girl, I'm confused. Like you had the Ben was there when when I showed up. I'm you confusing the people. Thank you. She said Usher was in Chattanooga. Chattanooga. He was in Chattanooga around that time, standing on the corner singing. Yeah, she got. So I said, I I think he. I don't know where she get. I was doing my thing with Chris, unless she was going back and forth. You know, how people talk. They good. They go back. That's why I always I like, wait. Let's walk yes. this, so uh -huh. we won't be confused like this. Mm -hmm. So even if he only playing the clip, she's still going back and forth with what she's saying. Looking for an opportunity. Who is that? Oh, Devante. Devante. Oh, look at Puff. He was a dancer, right? I don't know who the lady is in the middle. Devante Swing. I think that's the brother. That's like Jennifer Holiday in the middle think, of them. Yeah, I think the other one that would be the brother. Devante <laughs> Dalvin. Yeah. And look how small he was. He giving people style and stuff. And that haircut looked terrible, right? <laughs> but it looked really scary, right? There, like a ghost. Wait, shoot. I don't know. It's, I can't see that well. Is that Big Les or Jennifer Holiday? Or or we don't know who this woman is. Who this is? Who this hop out? Who this? That's it. I don't know. It's either Hey Martin. Usher hmm. was in a group when he was a kid. Yeah, but that had nothing to do with that group. Had nothing to do with Puffy. That group had nothing to do with Puffy, and then that's when uh, 
he was his mother was shopping him on his own. That's in the that still wouldn't be Christopher Williams' time. Well, Christopher Williams was, I think, by the time uh Usher got there, Christopher Williams is already out. Well, you know, not as popular as he was. I don't know, but I, I, I don't. I just don't think so. I think she's going like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then being that, you know, he's got he got material there. I think you know you gotta slow it down so you don't get beat up with the copyright strikes. Say, well, hopefully I don't get hit with them strikes. Right. But I got the I got to bring y'all the tea. I got to bring y'all the tea the best way I could. That's why y'all gotta support the channel with them likey likes. Hit them likes. Support the channel. looking for an opportunity and it came along and she took it with did with look that's absolutely fine but with diddy mm -hmm. the best business to start in 20 what a nice man He's known to do all types of freaky and shady business, man. We talking about a shysty New York music executive that's put on blast today, man. They could talk nonchalantly about this stuff back then, but when you listen to it now, it's like, well, hey, what boy, come out and play. Yeah, it was playing all right. They was playing all righty. He a villain. Y'all in New York City living like it's Gotham. They can make comics about y'all, man. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Masafa. Unless y'all gonna stand by this man's side like Stevie J. Look at this, man. Stevie J stands by Diddy. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Mm -hmm. Go on you know yourself. Diddy, man. I'm gonna live my like life. That's what I'm gonna do. If they want to like go to war, you look like a, a cowboy. Stevie J, a gunslinger. But he wasn't slinging no guns. He will pump you up. The head booty going in charge, allegedly. The Mike Tyson of butts. <laughs> Man, but allegedly, that's what they saying in the news. Not the and I don't want to believe that about Stevie J. I really don't care. <laughs> since they making it so yes. graphic. I love this shit. I love Stevie. this guy. You got that's a whole shadow out. rumor to have about. Hey, man, I don't want to put that on Stevie J. This collar look like he just got done fighting with somebody. Oh, Had to rough this nigga up in the bathroom, man. No, you're not. But Jocelyn. She look like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I ain't, I ain't trying to be in no blogs. So what? I did what I had to do. Yeah. I don't know. Stevie, I don't Stevie. know, bro. He a man with grandkids, and they talk about him like that. <laughs> Stevie J has been down with Bad Boy for decades and had produced... He was the producer and is a standing longtime friend. He's standing with Diddy during his issues, man. Hold on, y'all need to see this. All room. right. Ah, thank you. You know you cannot. Okay, he's still rocking B.I.G. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. You know about some, some little copyright strikes. They the team. They're gonna stick together. And it is what it is. He said no what before him. Why was Stevie J? That's his man, his man. He gonna stand beside him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at this man. Stevie posted a clip of himself playing the remix of gospel singer song I'm Still Here and caption the post no weapon against us shall prosper. Mm -hmm. Stevie J tagged it in his sons Justin and King. So Stevie letting them know like I'm still here man. We the family. We rocking out. Bad boy. Like the freak off is still going on, Puff. I don't care. We still nasty, bad boy. 
at the strippers on their way. I don't know how old they is, but they coming. They can't stop this. Can't stop. Won't stop. Puff. Freak off forever. Mm. I did going to tell me to put my winky back in my pants. I ain't going, Puff. Puff, I ain't going. Still with the freak freak, y'all. <laughs> <Biggie baby. laughs> Stevie don't plan on sitting his ass down. He want to go to jail with Puff. As soon as we get in there, we going to have a time of our life, play boy. Boy, if I go to if I ever go to jail, I want I want to go with Puff, man. Give me life with Puff, man. We gonna have a ball. Hey, I'm trying to go hey. down with Puff, man. What in the hell? Look at this, man. This dude, this little ride dude, is all over the place. He got butt jokes and everything for these rappers, and they ain't about to give him a dime. He just played himself. Little, they not gonna pay his little ass. The judge gonna take one look at little Rod and say, "Fuck him, man." He gonna look at them papers, look at little Rod, look at them papers. I'm like, man, man, I'm not giving order in the court. I ain't giving you shit. So he stuck his pinky up your butt. Be a man. Little Rod gonna have to put on Why the blouse. Like twins right there? Go to he gonna have to put on some heels mm-hmm. and go to court just to get some sympathy. <laughs> Is that Carl in the middle? Be popping, man. That's Negro here, no there. Okay, we got to get back to this clip. This not this show. Ah, uh, I got you, chance. Thank you, thank you, my brother. Singing at the top of my lungs. Thank you, my brother. Can hear me. So when I went in and did these two lines and rearranged them, I asked. I like to say thank you to my brother Chance. He made it rain. Thank you, Chance. Thank you. So y'all know we got to do the make it rain, Zan. The make it rain, make it da- make it rain. So he made it rain. Uh uh-uh. uh. 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 Thank you. Yo, this rain, it is so cold and it's been raining for two days straight. It's going to rain again tomorrow. This is ridiculous. I said, Mr. Puff, do you mind if I change it around a little bit? You asked him what? She said, hold on, she did what? Huh? Did she <laughs> That's how she was talking to Puff? Mm-hmm. Hold on, wait a minute. So when I went in and did these two lines and rearranged them i asked him mr puff do you mind if i change it around mr puff (laughs) like you damn right i mind it's my studio who you supposed to be what's your name you up here telling me how to do my business you must don't know who i am babe what would you say your name was your name Faye. oh Faith, okay, I like that. That's your real name. Let me see your driver's license. That's your real name, Faith. I like that, Daddy. Okay, I like. <laughs> oh, I shit, like I that, Daddy. So I like that. Like, that. You know, like nice little breeze, Faith. That's, that's your real name for real. Okay, okay, you can sing too. Oh, she got skills. Matter of fact, can you turn around? Turn around, see. Okay, I like that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, 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 you know. <laughs> no, t- nah, oh, Jesus, don't so bring it for y'all. y'all. <laughs> gonna roll with me, we'll hop in the car. I'm gonna go for a ride. You know, you see, you see my car right there. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Puffy. Could, do you mind if I? <laughs> and I'm not trying to put that on faith, but it is entertaining to allegate and speculate about this stuff, man. we talking about New York, Gotham City, Sin City is not a friendly place to be, it's quite grind. I mean, you got villains of all kinds. And we talk about Diddy, the king of the city. This brother is mythological by now. He going down like John Gotti. He going he gonna to be a champion, regardless of how this go down. But if it's really, really weird, ain't nobody going to celebrate Puff. It's still unraveling 
And that's what's so tense. Then we don't know what they're going to find. He probably got an alien in his closet or something. Like, who knows? He weird. They might find some old group. We don't want you to be gruesome, Puff. We don't want you to be a monster. Please don't let this man be a monster, man. Well, well, he 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 is. He represents black culture. It's ingrained in our spirits. We've been rocking with his music forever, man. Don't call an attorney. You use this AI app instead. That's what I did. Oh, look at him dancing. Happen, man. Ah. Oh, this ah. is ah. impressive. Come on, ah. Puff. Yeah, I saw that. They got you like Michael Jackson out here, man. Uh-uh. And every album he ever made. He was trying to look like Michael Jackson, and that's what make it even more creepy, man. Just don't understand it. The Michael Jackson, the, the Mister Mystique, like Grace Jones. He the he the male Grace Jones. Look at this, Strong J. I told you. I told you. Trying to outdo Bobby Brown. <laughs> like, don't try to outdo Bobby. Bobby okay. even trying. He stopped out doing Bobby. <laughs> Bobby is happily married somewhere Thanks. with his kids. If Bobby Brown could do the right thing, brother, you could have did the right thing too. You trying to ride this freaky shit to the max. Now you caught up. And it's all good when you got a bad chick on your arm. Look at this, man. It's all good. You could be Mr. Freak Nasty when you got a bad chick on your arm. People want to see that when you got a decent chick that people really like her personality and find her attractive, they don't mind you being Mr. Monstable. You could be the sex god. He's as long as your wife and your queen is humble, at least to and the I'm public eye. This man did the dumbest thing. Y'all need to see. Oh man! Oh man! He did the dumbest thing ever. Suave. She don't even look like she knows she be talking about half of the time. What's her IQ? Mm-hmm. Do she even know how to read for real? Mm-hmm. Is she a college grad? What's her educational level? Daddy, we need to know this type of stuff. Because she represent your brand. I wouldn't know. Fuck. Got a, a literal city girl. That you dummy. We was don't nobody respect that. Mm-hmm. Who he thought was gonna respect it? The men, the women, the children, who he thought was gonna respect this shit. So the rock didn't respect it. They dem- and I'm not talking bad about young Miami, but this man is trying to keep a mystique. This blew his cover. He showed the world. You ju- you show up dressed like Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. Like you a sultan, the prince of darkness. You show up looking like a vampire, or blade. Vampire and in this, Brooklyn. This your fairy princess? What's she gonna do? What's her powers, man? What's her? What, 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 what the fuck? She gonna twerk for you? Mm-hmm. That's her super villain. You, you want this mystique? You want to be this villain? You want to be this? This character, this facade, and what is her facade? Mm-hmm. She, the ghetto ass, ass comic book right now. <laughs> a ghetto com- and I ain't talking bad about she a booty popping booty. Why do the why? Why is she even? Chick, take that brim off and just do the why so and get back in the limo. This was a <sighs> get mad, did he? I need to take five. I need to take five. Oh man, that pissed me off. Hmm. Please hit that subscribe. I appreciate appreciate everybody watching, but damn man, damn what the fuck.
It is what it is. That's his problem. But damn it, bro, you wrong. Fucked up bad. He messed up bad. He messed up so bad. I got to keep talking about it, y'all. He messed up so freaking bad. All he had to do was keep something, something that, what's the liquor company? Diego. Diego don't like this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, no, Papa, you're not doing it right. No, 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 you do. No, Bobby you spoke mystery. Man of the night, man of the night. Mm-hmm. Miami nightlife. Well, this is not Miami nightlife. This is Kentucky. Oh, what is this? This does not, we, our brand, this does not, our mystique. We like, we like, you know, smooth fella, you know, good taste, fine, fine taste in women. We like fine taste. That's what it is. <laughs> the the Ciroc <laughs> is for the taste. It could taste like oh. nothing, but if you have good taste, then the liquor have good taste. You idiots. You are an idiot. You are fuck. You ruined the taste of the brand. It don't taste the same. It tastes like get Kool Aid. This ghetto. You know <laughs> how you want us idiot. to start selling our liquor in regular stores? We can't do it. It's water. It's cranberry juice. It's <laughs> it's weak, pathetic. Get back with Cassie. You have to call Cassie. Cassie. <laughs> We need you to help sell some of this liquor, not him. We did Cassie, it for you, Cassie. Cassie, Cassie yes, you're girl. Yes, Cassie. Yours, yours. Yeah. Cassie. <laughs> I want you to 30 million. Just blow him up. Blow him. Blow him. Blow. <laughs> 30 million. He's that nothing blow. Like you, Cassie. That's you. It's you. It's you. <laughs> it's no telling what was going on. Cassie, you looking at them motherfuckers real hard. Just hey, blow. <laughs> Y'all know we gotta get a little music. <laughs> Y'all know we gotta get a little music breaky break here, right? <laughs> Y'all stupid. I know, right? He is definitely Angela. He de- definitely is. Yes, give give him his love. Tell him. This, when we go on over the top, sugar shit, you right? He has he has never uh I've written I try to I don't know I emailed him, but tell don't bother me. <laughs> well, let's get some five minute uh thirty second uh thirty second music up in here, right? Yeah. Now I'm gonna run on to the to the, to the bathroom. That's up straight. Shake your legs, shake your hands. Or if you watch the replay, get past this and get back to the show. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
had a nice little breaky breaky yes yes and yes we're and we're that's back. right thank you for the surprise you need saucy matana yes you always got to get a little break that's right hit that like button y'all don't do nothing else hit that like button Thank you, my brother Chant. Y'all are what keep y'all are what keep this channel going. Let's go. Time we go to the meeting, be smiling and shit. Shut your ass. Up. Come here. Smile and all and what well, you know one of them niggas with one of them niggas know your phone number we did. One niggas better not be calling one of your phones and then you up there in the meetings and shit. Smile all in their face, you know. Oh, you think that. Oh, you thinking that they gave me all this money because I'm with you? I don't need you, Cassie. <laughs> they ain't paying me because I'm with you. I then don't he need found you, Cassie. Out that they was paying them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> because he... Cassie, man. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, man. Found out after the fact. Oh, mother. Mm -mm. Did he? Mm -mm. Blew it. All you had to do. Find you another J-Lo. And lay low. <laughs> Get your weapon. And he ain't even had to find another J-Lo. But look, this who he could have went and got, man. What's the girl name? She played on the Fresh Prince. Mm -hmm. Is it Caramel Jones or something like that? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Since you like young chicks and you want to, you like the young ones and all that, Diddy, this was one you could have. And thank God he ain't do it because she don't deserve that. But if you really want to sell some to the rock, if you really wanted to sell some Ciroc, boy, if you really wanted to sell that liquor, all you had to do was call up Coco. He said it Coco. Adds flavor. It adds it. People would have been drunk. I would have bought two bottles at Coco Jones, huh? They could have. Hey, man, he ain't got no good taste. He in love with they the coke. Getting drunk from here to Costa Rica, man. <laughs> All the way to Montego Bay. He got horrible taste. It ain't about the color, it's about the class. And for the most part, she don't come off like she be she ain't no booty model or nothing. She a, a beautiful young lady. Man, come on, man. Like, look, man, if you put on five more pounds, I don't know, Shoy. Like, <laughs> you're going to have to make sure you stay slim. I would fast forward a little bit, you though. You put on five more pounds, you know. He's probably attacked, but we're going to fast forward a little bit, though. We're going to get back you, to the face. Man, don't forget, whatever. Like, yeah, I skip past go and watch the whole video on his channel. <laughs> Damn, I was at that nigga house. Oh, man. They thought I was real, but I'm fake. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Me 
combs looking like she need a comb type of shit. they got combs wearing it the shit getting weird it's a this is shit sean diddy combs delivers commencement address at howard university his mother was there they gave him a medal hold on he got pendants and shit yeah how they gonna take him down hey how were you yep put him out there look take him out there for the people but what, uh, know what was what going Mary J. Benham, it's like she was with him, and then she straight up once she got with uh 50, she straight up abandoned 50. I mean, straight up abandoned a, a Sean. He's like, Listen, you with me? I got you at the Super Bowl. Come on, Mary made it, her she made it to the Super Bowl, yeah, got her. He keeping that money in her pocket, which they she had problems with Diddy before with that, if I'm not mistaken. When they stopped speaking for a while, right? Yep. So she been abandoning him, but my girl went to the enemy. She went to the enemy. <laughs> my my my. going on project r kelly like we manufacture r and b singers new state of art technology like what y'all doing to me man y'all keep on touching me man stop like y'all need to quit playing these games man hey i can see <laughs> I know this ain't funny, man. But anyway, this is bizarre that they bought him out there like that. And he, he whining and grinding. This freaky dicky is, is nasty. He's sweating. He running. He oh 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 oh. He like they need to lock his ass. She looking like what the fuck you doing over there? She looking like she want to tell. Oh, the girl in the back looking like she want to say something too. What happened? Mm-hmm. You don't pull the a ten year old. How you don't pull somebody on the stage that ain't supposed to be up there? What happened? Mm-hmm. Hold on, y'all. I need to see this. Wait, wait. Get it together. Get it together, bro. Shit look demonic. Is he a vampire? What the fuck? Like the devil. For sure. This some shit, some cracked out demon shit from the 80s, man. The hell was they smoking? Like the demon coming tonight, man. Yep, we all got everybody black leathered up. Black leathered up. We got a mean one. He's insane. He's crazy. Yeah type of circus this ain't the chitlin circuit this the look at demon circuit mm. r kelly did the demon circuit this is disgusting uh, he moaning on stage oh y'all ready to fuck ooh, ooh. he was living more nastier than rick james <laughs> than- yes he was Really? It don't get no nasty in R. Kelly. Like, I'm nasty right now. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. like if I stop loving the girls, I'm gonna lose my edge. I gotta love the ladies. Uh-uh. Like, uh, uh, yeah, give it to me. Uh, uh. They be humping so hard, <laughs> the stage start folding. Like, damn. Now that's some the shit out that stage. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, earthquake started to happen, man. 
wow, that, that's a giant Brussels sprout. So misfits, they get their name because it's my yeah. If y'all enjoying the show so far, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. If you guys are enjoying the show so far, put a one in the chat. Yes. Put a one up in the air. So we can know how we doing. We want to know how we doing. Put a one up in. Put a one in a chat. Put a one in a chat. Put a one. Come on now. I see a lot of ones. I see a lot of ones. Thank you for the ones. Thank you for the ones. All right. Thank you for the love. Anyways, There's some ones in this house. We got other stuff to talk about. No, do it like this. That was kind of fun. I want to do that, that again. Little Kim that little That we used to know. <laughs> Looking to see yeah. if they got a video together. Mm -hmm. That we used to know. Featuring Diddy. Let me see if they got some. Hey, whatever it is, I know it got to be a. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Ta -ta. Someone to love me naked, featuring Diddy. That's and Lil hot, Wayne. That song is hot. That's Why would one you of my have favorite chemistry songs like that her. with them dudes in the studio? Yeah. Hold on, Mary. You, you know, it's old. a remix. A remake, but <sighs> in the studio making some magic. <laughs> You got to set the mood for R&B music, man. <clears throat> you want to make R&B? Oh, and I'm the one with her and Drake, too. You can't be in no dirty-ass trailer. Yeah. You're going to yeah. come out sounding like some country music or something. No disrespect to country. Like the one with her and love, love you gotta music so child. And she made a song. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Play, play this. Get it together. Play, get it together. Gonna check this out real real quick. You said that's a like, cute little cam. <laughs> where the hell is she supposed to be right here? What is this? A bridge that's been broken. Y'all see that? It's a bridge that been broken. And not that long ago, when she responded to Diddy. Well, oh, get that together, bro. Yeah. She said, let me be, let, let me reintroduce myself. I burn bridges as needed. So she had to be talking about Diddy. If on the video she did with this man, she was standing on a burn bridge. I mean, that bridge is, it's in the beginning of the video. She's sending subliminal. Damn, I like how you did that. Damn. That's cold blooded, Mary. I know he know that you know what he talking about. It's a dark day. Lightning strikes. What games is they playing? It's <clears throat> what did she set him up? What is this, man? Hold on. She's standing at the bridge that she broke. Then it showed Diddy looking like he's sad. Did she put a spell on this man <laughs> with this video? <laughs> he looked like he don't have a clue. Like, what's happening Not to me? Scary. 
Huh? You know Hollywood do shit like that. They'll put you in I a situation in a video. This ain't the first time somebody <laughs> oh, tried no, to trick Diddy up on the video. I'll prove it to you. Look at this, man. Oh, no, turn that whack ass off. I'm gonna start I'm gonna play it. Turn that music, man. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all don't hear that. Ish. That's my ish Look right there. Mm hmm. No. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do this real quick. It's only gonna take a second. Yeah, we're gonna do it like that. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna get it set up for y'all. How y'all doing out there, man? I hope everybody good. I want to thank y'all for tuning in and watching the video. Um, we're going to get into some other stuff about Mary J. Blige. And he's, he caught a case over the, the Nas video. They, they set him up to be crucified. And he did not want that depiction in his life because he knows whatever you put out there is going to come back. He did. He want the girls. He want the money. He want the chains. He want the, he want all that to come back. He don't want this hate to come back. He on the song talking about he chanting hate me now, and now that shit done manifested, and people hate him now, man. You can hate me now, but I won't stop now. You can hate me now. In the studio playing and that vibration done wong the bell done donged that shit done echo far and wide now his look shit looking like some star wars like it says let me just read that real quick for you guys it says Sean Puffy Combs pleaded guilty to harassment Wednesday morning, September 8th, in New York, in a case which he had been charged with assaulting record. Okay, Steve Stout, we know that already. Hitting him with a bam champagne bottle. What's the Chewbacca? I'm your new best friend. This man, I don't want to get into it, but did he be that man? And we're putting out this video right here. Which one? This one. He whooped that trick. Because they put out the video. <clears throat> look, Nas. Shit look crazy. Hold on. Why would he be, why would he be in the hellfire? Where is he? Well, don't see. That's the trickery so that they have going dark. on, man. <clears throat> he First, he out the hellfire. Now you pushing the cross. He's showing duality. But that ain't right. That, that, this, they trying to be Tupac. All this to try to be the next pop. Why would you want his flag? Exactly. And I'm trying to figure out why was it why was it why was it even put in the video that you're mad that he didn't take it out? Dude, that didn't even like you like that. That's it. Carry his flag, carry his yeah, all that. If we didn't want it in there, why would you put that part in there? And exactly, why would you agree to do it? Who idea was it? I'm pretty sure it was his. Hold on, it seemed like they did not you mad the spite pock. No, that didn't have nothing to do with pop but they was doing all of this nah, they was of tupac nah tupac wasn't they the wasn't first one who did love. that that guy son across the bed be that alone just in the mist of it all I mean, too different i'm gonna have my draw showing real real bad oh my goodness. 
and my shit gonna be different because I ain't gonna have no shirt on and all that. And they got that red on again. Like, no way you can explain. I better research better. that red. Like I'm yep. the most for tall gangster, you know. Fashion, you know, zesty fashion thug, man. And every time they wear that red, <laughs> somebody goes down. Yeah, and Jay Z said he said he was a, a weirdo for the Carl Kanai Esco ads. That dude, hold on. Y'all, y'all stay tuned, man. This music is killing me, bro. Just take it back there. Ugh, that shit bad. I'm gonna get it together tonight. It ain't bad, but I'm just like, come on, dog. This sounds like I'm in a damn spaceship somewhere, and I'm ready to go home. Go work on it. Hey man, y'all need to work on it fast. <clears throat> no, I didn't want the ether lyrics. I want Jay Z's lyrics. I don't want Nas lyrics. I want the takeover lyrics. And I know y'all like what this got to do with Mary J. Blige. It got everything to do with everybody in the music industry because all of them got a facade for the public to sell records. The better your facade. The better you gonna be. I don't think Jay Z wear a facade, but yeah, he do. He said he making G's running with guys that tell lies that sound true. He ain't like them. <laughs> he ain't like them. Lips. Now remember that. Hey, damn, was that a shot at Biggie? How many people Jay Z been taking shots at? <laughs> Everybody. Damn. I'm telling you, lie. So there be I said, I don't I'm care for my beat, How is that? I, have, I hold triggers to cruise. You little F's, I got money you stacked for you. you. Right. When I was pushing way back in '88, you was a ballerina. I got your picture. No, that's you. um, that's a double shot. That's not that prodigy. Not that and biggie. Tupac. No, that wasn't neither one. That's the guy from Mob Deep. What's his name? The one who passed away, may he rest in peace. Uh oh my prodigy. Yeah, prodigy. The prodigy, you know, him and the Shansi go back. And back in them days, you sent your kids to do things, right? You sent them to after school programs or whatever, right? So that's what his mother did. He wasn't like it was it was his choice. It could have been, but he was a kid. He was a kid. That was incredible. He said, then you drop shook on, switch your demeanor. Well, we don't believe you. You need more people. So he's saying when pride. So look, y'all got to listen to the test a bit, man. He said in 88, Prodigy was a ballerina. He was dressed up like Michael Jackson. That's what a lot of people was doing back then. Then he dropped shook ones and switched his to me. Everybody did that. In the 80s, a lot of people did they dropped their shit and went with the gangster look. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this, man. Dr. Dre was straight up Prince. Yep. In the 80s, man. And overnight he dropped all that shit and turned into a a OG gangster. One of the original things, bullying the things up in your face. Uh-huh. Rolling around in my caddy. Don't try to catch me. Hell yeah. You want to smoke? Hell yeah. Want some hoes? Hell yeah. He went from niggas for life. Like we gonna be niggas, that's it. That's all we ever gonna be. He did it for the, the damn entertainment business. Ain't that about a bitch? It was funky, wonky, him and yellow. Like they say, I look like Morris Day. I like girls, man. I joined the band. Like what you want me to do? I'm the, I'm the yellow one in the group, motherfucker. 
Like, I'm OGG style. I'm just going to stay right here and wait for the hoes. I ain't even going to move. I'm just going to stay like this. Hey, wake me up when the hoes get here, man. Like, y'all need to clean up my motherfucking house, especially you, Andre. Like, oh, whatever. I'm going to do it. All y'all need to do it. Got a brothel of R&B singers. We to make some hits, man. Look, I got my hoes. <laughs> I'm the pimp, like just in case y'all was wondering, I'm the pimp right here. And these ones right here. Don't be putting my business out in the street. They even got a she thing in the back. What the hell? Oh my goodness. Who in the fuck is that in the back? And I'm just, look, no disrespect to Dr. Dre or none of these people, man. All I'm trying to say is that a lot of these entertainers it's a facade. Some old man. Studio gangsters. And as far as Mary J. Blige go. People say we spend too much time on our phones, but they're actually so useful. I ordered this coffee with my phone. Found my boyfriend with my phone. So. Even found my new car and financed it off my phone at driveway.com. What do you think? Not sure about the color. Hey, what do you? Ooh, awesome color. See, so useful. You know what? I do like the color. Driveway. We see the way better way to buy and sell your car online. Thousands of men with swollen prostates recently discovered a controversial anti-mold protocol that not only helps you pee like a racehorse but it also shrinks your inflamed prostate almost overnight, even if you've been living with an enlarged... Diddy is a master, a master at creating facades. How come her and Lil' Kim, neither one of them can dance, but they world-renowned as entertainers? Because oh Diddy gave them a facade, man, and it worked. He don't know how to put together no music. Quincy Jones said he wouldn't know a B flat if it hit him in his face. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he ain't no um, instrumental genius. He no swag. He the inventor of drip. He know what's cool. That's what he do. Like, you'll be so much better if he was like my mother. You know what I'm saying? You know, blind, I love my mom. Blind hair, classy. Door knocking earrings. That's all mm -mm. you really need. Now Mary J. Blige with 50 Cent. Now she Monet. And Lord knows he loves older women, man. Ever since he was with Vivica. 50 Cent. He love an older woman, man. And I, hey, I'm not mad at him for that. Look at this. This man like I'm old. And I get it, but damn, bro. He look like he don't got caught. She all smiling and shit like Curtis. <laughs> That's not like, man, why you my grandma? <laughs> this, this is my friend right here, man. I, man, call her my grandma. I'm going to punch you in your face, man. That is Shaka Khan. Damn, man. Yeah. She, she must be. For him to go out on the red carpet. She must be good peoples. <laughs> For them to show up like that. And they he got hit shot the car too. Let me find out. He's he smiling hard. <laughs> Miss Shaka Khan. Shaka, Shaka, Mary Shaka, J. Khan. Shaka Khan apologized after shading Mary J. B Hold on. You shaded Mary J. Blige and then she came and got your man? <laughs> oh. <my goodness>. oh. <laughs> Then she came and got your man. She Shaka didn't apologize Khan. to Mary. She just said that. She shaded Mary J. Blige. She like Mary did, did with her song, I but I, we like it. She said, I took the bait. Like they told me to do it. They, they love to see her sisters they fighting. They asked with the question. You know. She answered it. I didn't want to spite you, but when I find your number and fifth is phone, <laughs> and he act like he know how I got there, that's when I started getting in my feelings. 
because oh snap why is you calling my man i mean mine but still i keep your hands to yourself keep your hand to yourself mary I mean, I just couldn't believe it. You do a lot that. of stuff, but she ain't messing with those shots. Shaka Khan did not mean to upset anyone when she slammed Rolling Stones 20's greatest mm-hmm. singers of all times, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Recently, I was asked about a list of the greatest singers of all times, and instead of questioning the need for such a list, I was pitted against our other artists and I took the bait. No, 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 you kept it real. They they can't sing, Shaka. <laughs> you, your generation, all y'all could sing, man. Y'all could sing. These, the new people can't even sing. I better be getting down with that trash. Right. And you can't you can't lie about it all the time. Look, she gotta apologize because she kept it real. As artists, we are unfairly put into boxes, categories, or on the list. Being an artist or a magician, what did she originally say, man? Because I'm pretty sure she said, "Not my intention to paint anyone." Is what did she? They don't even want to say what she said. Shaka went on. Well, where the park? Get this shit out of here. Oh, she was talking shit about Mary J. Blige. Oh, man, all over 50 Cent. I need a reader, a professional reader. Where y'all at? That would be great for the show, man, because I'm... Take me back to kindergarten every time, man. Look at this. I said, Shaka went on to say she will continue to uplift others as she announces her new foundation. Do anybody got a sticker? Cause I did good on that one. Look, look, look. <clears throat> About to give it, give it another go. Check this out. I'm gonna sweep through like everything until I get to the period. I'm gonna do it right till I get there. Look, 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 look. look. I have always been about empowering others, and I started a foundation for that very purpose. I will be announcing soon. Empowering all artists is the most important because we truly are the architects of change and change begins within the heart. I love you all. God bless. She concluded, man. The po- Damn, she must be scared. Mary J. Bly is going to blackball her whole shit. It took a moment to revisit her infamous feud with Mary J. Again, said Mary had previously butchered her cover of Sweet Thing. She did, man. Yo, Shaka, you ain't never lie. You did it way better. Sweet Thing was introduced by Shaka in 1975 during her time in the band Rufus and Mary J. Blige put her spin on the track in 92. Her album was the 411. Rumors were afloat that Shaka often called Sweet Thing the song Mary J. Blige fucked up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like she totally fucked it up. That's my song. It, it sounded good when I did it. I mean, it would have been better if it was a good song, but she took my song and she it was fucked up. I didn't like it. Like, Shaka, how do you feel about the song? It was, I don't know, it was fucked up. I, I don't know. It didn't sound good. Damn. 50 up here dealing with feuding women, man. I messed up. Damn, man, 50 don't got him another one, y'all. Arm on her back, him. Talking about somebody being a playboy. If they ever go after 50, Lala Anthony, she gonna be out there in the news. Carmelo gonna be back in the news. Acorn TV isn't just good. It's brilliant television. Didn't I train you well? From around the world. Carmelo gonna be like, that's why I was never really tripping on Lala. Just because we got a kid together don't mean that she ain't gonna do her own thing. Wow. She rolling with 50. 50 beefing. I'm starting to think this is why 50 is beefing with Diddy so hard.
they put the battery in his back to attack Diddy. That's what he got to do to have dominance over these women. Now you hear me, man? I get you, boy. Put them hands on you, man. See me with Mary. Disrespect Mary. I heard the stories, dog. I don't like it. I'm the new Tupac nigga. And I know you've seen my shows, dog. You be watching my show. We're on my arm and wood. I'm on mute and didn't even know. I done talk to you and ask you questions and have me tell a good shit. <laughs> For real? Oh, Lord. What As I saying? was saying, right? Just go. Uh huh. Now let me stop. <laughs> I said, that's probably true when he said, I heard the stories. Because. You know how 50 yes. get down. I don't know if Barry mm -hmm. will fully betray him, but he's he ain't at he's not asking direct questions anyway. He just got the, the air and he's listening, <laughs> you know. So she ain't gonna blow 50 uh Diddy up, but technically, yeah, by telling stories. Tell yeah, and I remember back in the day, yeah, and 50 like, yeah, what happened? And who was there? Did you know what I'm saying? Cause he that he that type of man, yeah. He is not yeah, gonna be like hey, no discussion. Even if he says no discussion about Diddy, it doesn't matter. They so intertwined, yo. So how was it at uh, at Uptown, right? I was chill at Uptown. Let me and Joe, and then I'll say his name. Cause certain things you gotta say Diddy name, right? You have to. You have to. I married did a phenomenal job. I know my teapot was going off. You could have been talking, girl. When it's on mute, you could talk. I had a, my teapot. Now I got to have my tea. I ain't got I my ginger ale. Oh, you, need, you ain't got your ginger ale today. You got you some tea, huh? I really think. Yep, she done told them stories. How we, 
yeah, we have seen them. We have seen Mary since then. But Mary, I don't know. Then they didn't um that season get renewed. One of the seasons it did not get renewed, and they supposed to do everything. Matter of fact, that is the one that Mary's on, isn't that? Isn't that crazy? All of a sudden, this their last season, and they're gonna show everything together. They're not doing a full season. Isn't that ironic? Yep. Am I right or wrong? Is it that I don't watch them shows, but isn't the, Me the one the rate? But I know she was she had she had been in it for the last what couple of years. Yeah. But I know her and Diddy been together since then, but since this scandal, they only have this is the last season. So hopefully that's a good thing because she's not con uh she's not under contract. So that'd be a hard thing to do. That'd be really, really, really hard. But um, let's get back into this. Hopefully y'all enjoying this because I, I am. What if he madly in love with Mary? He was in his feelings when Michael Jordan was all on her booty. He was hurt. <laughs> you could see it in his face. Like, what the hell you out there? You patting all on your booty, bitch. You better come on. Back call time. Run. Let's stop I can't on. believe you. He was in his feelings bad. Looking like, hold up. After all the money I gave you, you all smiling, kissed by the got this man patting on your boot. Mm. He was patting her like a good dog, like good dog, good dog. Like, woof, Michael Jordan, woof. Like, all right, baby, calm down. Good dog, good dog. Woof. Hey, Michael, ah. Jumped in his lap like a puppy, just pounced in his arms. He got to calm. He know that's the only way he could calm people down. Like, okay, give you some love and good sugar. Pat, pat, pat. To calm your ass down. Like, I know what you want. I know what you get. A couple of taps that'll last you a lifetime, baby. A couple of taps on the booty rump. She'll be all right. She'll be all right. She ain't have a chance in hell, but I gave her hope. You know, we got three booty taps on camera. That'll last her a lifetime. Let me get on back on the jet. Let me get back on the jet. The Nickelodeon was kid everything, but that marked one of the darkest chapters. These are three predators who worked at Nickelodeon. I said, Mary J. Blige and Michael Jordan got engaged. That's how they, <laughs> that's how they was acting, man. I need to check that video out. Hey, it is what it is. And she's shaking that ass with Dr. Dre half naked with Snoop Dogg on the stage. Like, when do you slow down? They put her all that. Oh, no disrespect. Man, get Mary J. Blige off the screen, man. Uh. <laughs> no, put on some, some love and respect. And Matter of fact, do her justice and put on some he respectable music around here, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing this for entertainment. I got no but I'm a for for Mary J. Blige before a joke. For a joke, I'm likely to say anything, but it's not personal, man. And half of the time the shit don't even be funny like that. But I think it's hilarious. So that's all that matter. How many zesty thugs in the entertainment business? How many willing women are there that'll do anything just to be next to a mogul? Or a man that got his shit together. When you got your shit together, why wouldn't nobody want to be in your company? But Diddy, it seemed like now that he's taking a fall or he's stumbling, mm -hmm. everybody going to fall. We witnessing, I want to see him pull through. But I think it's something sinister. No, no, no. The music right. Damn, ain't no right music. I think it's something sinister. The way they went up in this house. It's 
something sinister going on. It is foul, foul. It's trickling down. I mean, they always knew he was foul. The Biggie and Tupac situation was foul. The, the raid and all that other shit. The stampede at the college was foul. Hold on. This was foul. This should have put him away. This should have ended his career. They did that, that damn stampede. Remembering Diddy's deadly stampede. This look like some shit out of a, this ain't right out of a comic book. This Sin City for real. The the Joker been making headlines for a long time, man. Oh my goodness. Real shit. The real life Joker. Been in the news, a tragedy. He in his world history. Oh, God, damn, did tell her, man. You don't play with nobody like that. Remembering Diddy's daily stampede 30 years before Travis Scott, Astro World, Astro World. Shit, Travis Scott, like, I want to be like that. But yeah, that dude, that dude, I want to be like, like that dude. <laughs> Hell no. Like, what's your story? If Diddy go to jail, the inmates, they going to stay the fuck away. Like, get back, it's Diddy. Like, what's up, Diddy? He going to be able to sit with every community. Like, yo, Poppy, you know, I hear it's smelling good over here. I don't know if that sauce or whatever. That shit smell good. Don't worry, bro. Have a seat. Like, Y'all all right? Y'all all right? Okay, okay. He did some shit. I mean, why they want to? He been in the news before, man. This ain't the first time. This been on. Oh, I mean, not oh, but yeah, but we can't have that on TV. That was zesty. What the fuck? Put it back on there so I can say yeah. Yeah. Again, that would be excellent. Oh God damn! I ain't trying to get no copy. These horse thoughts. <laughs> copyright strike. Yeah, but we ain't get trying to cheesy, get, get her cheesy booty off the screen. You freak. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, now is he doing his thing with Diddy? They all in. Oh my goodness! I bet. Saying anything strange about Mary J. Blige, but if he was doing what he was doing with Cassie, and that was over and pour me out. <laughs> shit, Cassie career didn't even take off. Mary J. Blige's career took the fuck off. Yep. Imagine if Cassie's career would have took off. She would have never probably she probably would have never said nothing. She 20. Look at her money. face. She probably would have look at her face. Look, he's yeah. But since she ain't had and no she money, be she ain't here. got no career. All she she's got, still ten records. You know, whatever she got, boy, she ain't Mary with, and Cappy. She ain't with Mary J. Blige. She can't hide her expression. Cassie ain't got with Diddy. Mm -mm, that rest she ain't even got with Faith Evans. Got and shout out to Faith Evans. Look at that bitch. Well, Mary got platinum albums. Better shut. Not better, but a, a lot of people just stay quiet. But I'm pretty sure if they talk about he was getting it in with Usher. And if I'm not mistaken, we read, and we want to go over back over who his sugar daddy is. Y'all gonna? I showed it on only. I'm, I'm gonna say only fans. Lord have mercy on the membership. I'm gonna show it again, but it might be another membership video. <laughs> no, no, no parts of this, boy. No parts of this. I'm gonna show it again and revamp it for the members only. Certain things I might play. If you want, hey, you want to catch the replay? You gotta have to be a member. So if you missed it, you got to be a member to see it, man. Don't forget, if you are members, leave comments so I can know that you were there. But mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. But 
Oh, that's what I was going to say. We when we did the video. I think Cassie had like a 10 album deal. Even though, let me tell you how she lucky. Because now Diddy could turn around and sue her. How so? She still owe him eight albums. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was a 10 album deal. Maybe that's so in her contract. Yeah, so which means she got paid. She got paid. She got that for them album. She better get the singing. <laughs> la, 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 la. But I don't know was that resolved when they broke up or whatever. But we do know if somebody saying no more bad boy. No, she's still bad boy. <laughs> she's still bad boy. She's still old records. Now he can't do nothing to her right now, but hey, hey, Chrissy, what's up, baby? But uh, she can't do nothing to him now, but he could still sue her. I'm telling this house is cold, got me drinking tea all day now. You know, and at this time of night, girl, you know what that yeah. means. Drinking my tea all night, I might as well just stay up and just sit in the bathroom. at the Pee all at it right back out. <laughs> right. <laughs> you pointing like Mary. Why is he looking like Shane to song in that picture? Go back. Yeah, go back to that. That was strange. God, Diddy looking like Shang Tsung. Like, your soul is mine. Your ass wake up like, no! <laughs> that is crazy. Hold on. Look at this, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I need to see. Look at this, y'all. In the movie... Need to see that. In the movie, he was holding the dude brother. Where did you get at? His brother be like, no. Y'all see that? No. That's how Diddy looking with Usher. Hold on, where'd that picture go? Don't tell me I got rid of it. Oh damn, I wanted to put the side by side i'm tripping how did i jack that up so bad was it in a video instead no but that's crazy ain't it but that's negro you know you about to uh... okay it's some more stuff i want to share with y'all let me quit playing i want to listen at this real quick if y'all don't mind man it's something that i want to um listen to with y'all yeah, um Y'all listen at this real quick. Reg, set that up. Okay, here we go. Listen, listen, listen. Faith starts to realize there's no room for the first lady of bad boy in daddy's house. This is the... Did y'all hear that? There's no room for Faith Evans no more in daddy's house. Daddy's house? Ew. If that ain't no freaky shit, I don't know what it is, man. Daddy's house. How you a grown man in daddy's house? Up. All them, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, y'all. How big he gonna have his wife in daddy's house? He and daddy, they playing house. With Diddy. the minutes y'all they playing daddy's house with daddy man i'm over here tripping where the hell is she there it go that's probably not even daddy what the hell what up 
to celebrate Diddy Dirty Money's last train in Paris. BET did a special for this man. Some sh- shit. When I type in Diddy's house or Daddy's house, this is all about the raid. I can't even find nothing else. That's how messed up this is. But still, the point I'm trying to make is she was in daddy's they was all in daddy's house if that ain't strange look at this faith starts to realize there's no room for the first lady of bad boy in daddy's house this is the infamous daddy's house recording studios and after losing big i refused to record here on my keep the faith album i was just kind of like over everything and everybody to be honest i wanted to try she talked too much man faith I'm going to put you out there because you talk entirely too much, man. Mary don't do all that talking. And when she do talk, she say what they want her to say. Mary say what they tell her to say. And she don't, besides that, she don't want to talk. Faith, she tell it. She well, spill. She is a Gemini. Things. What you want to do? One is a cat, one is a gem. What's your she open her mouth, man. Listen Faith. to this starts to realize there's no room for the first lady of bad boy in that the first lady of bad boy is that what he told her that's how he got her on board he told her she was the first lady of bad boy and then when Biggie died, they got together and made a Missing You song and did all this shit. They was the first lady of Bad Boy. Like he the president, he the president and she the first lady. How you gonna be the first lady? Was he pimping out the first lady? The president pimping out the first, he's the, the Hell Caesar. Hell Caesar. He the most wickedest man in history. He going in. They might as well make his statue and put it in Rome. Make a statue of him just like that, man. He need a royal statue. He in the he in the field. They on the gra- they in the grass missing big. Big gone, Diddy in the grass with your chick talking about we'll be missing you. <laughs> Ooh, that boy cold. Boy. <laughs> oh my god, that boy Diddy, Bloody. he is cold. Bloody. Yo, he, yo, he better than the Joker. He better. He is better. Man, this mother <laughs> fucker. Oh, he a bad, bad boy. No, she the was ground. the first he lady of bad boy. Oh, man. He Mary, like, Billy the kid. we ain't speaking. He a motherfucking comic book remember. character. Damn. He, he bigger than yep. Nino Brown. Bigger than Nino Brown. Man, his story, the way he crossed, oh, you dirty snake salesman. You, he like, come on, come on, man. I want to I want to talk to you. Come on. <laughs> Come, on. Faith was like, you better not come over here. <laughs> Look at Faith eyes. She like, uh-uh, nope, you better not. And bring your ass over to the family. Craig Mac looking like he just wanted to run. Like, damn, I should do <laughs> Biggie and Craig Mac looking like they just want to yep. split. Like, you run that way, I'll run this yep. way. As soon as that nigga ain't looking, I'm gone, man. <laughs> Craig look like this is my last day. He got a gun in the car. He think about it. he just he ain't licked his lips. He yes. going through it. Like you better give me my motherfucking man. money, man. Come on, come on, man. Let me talk to you. Oh yeah, you look good. You think okay? You know, you know. And Faith, scoot over, scoot over. You got another one. Like, hey, you still the first lady, baby. You still the first lady, baby. <laughs> Why you tripping, Faith? Didn't I tell you the yeah, first lady? Daddy, yeah. got no, no, you tripping. <laughs> the first lady of bad boy. I don't even know. Then we go platinum. Did we go platinum or no, Faith? All right, what you talking about? Oh my platinum. god! We got money. We're fucking with the nigga, babe. What's going on with Tupac? You want to go talk to your holler at Pac? 
what Pac talk about? He's on the shit. Okay, well, you know what I'm saying? He's back in the studio. We got more work to him. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Got man <laughs> patting on her booty while she thinking about Diddy. Uh, yo, Ma, you know, I'm going to take you out, you know, buy you a new house. I'll buy you a new car, you know, get you all the shit, you know, as soon as you nigga puff, cut oh the check. Oh, my God. Nigga puff, give me money, you know, I'm going to give you the money. How about that? Well, puff, give me the money. I'm going to give you the money. She's like, big, I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> but puff already giving me money. That's why I'm with you, big, because puff cut the check. Wow. If that's what it takes to make you look desirable, then I do it. I mean, we got to sell these records. I mean, shit, I can't be in the public with him. He don't want nobody. He don't want me, so shit. Yeah. It was up, up man. But want you know, don't you just say it look pretty for me? You know, let these hoes know I get, I get bad bitches. I be a bad bitch, Pooh Bear. <laughs> so don't I need faith, you know, as long as... But you see, I'll get bad bitches. Cool, you know, I'm going to keep getting bad bitches. <laughs> oh, big, I heard you the first time. I'll be a bad bitch. Okay, you okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to play me with these other rappers. You know what I mean? You know, they just love hip-hop shit right here, man. Love and hip-hop, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> love and hip-hop. That's all this is, man. You know, Put the love with the hip-hop. You know, love it when they call me Big Pop. But... <laughs> <laughs> like big, you doing your thing and all that, you know. But Faith, let me holler at you. Come to my office, lock the door, close it. Big, stay out there. Faith, I need to holler at you. Oh, they no. arguing like a family. Like you look like you don't want to call me no more. You want me to see my seat and all that? Want me to come on? Like I don't know what y'all got going on, but big, you need to chill. Faith, I need you to get up and come in the office with me because I need to talk. Talk to you, big. You gonna get your girl back when I'm done. When I'm done handling my business, okay? Hold on, wait a minute. The hell? Oh hell no! You can't let her be a mother with her child without you pressing up on her cheeks. Mm -mm. No, she just had that man, baby. Ridiculous. He's still pressing up. Must be Caribbean or something. Like what that got to do with it? <laughs> pressed up on you know how the Caribbean be. A baby. Like, damn, Puff, can you wait? Like, come on, we gonna say you drop baby. I'll leave the baby with Jean Dill. Come with me, Jean. Jean, come get this ooh, baby. Ooh. Like, let big granny Jean Dill oh, hold Jean you, Dill. Young man. And that's cold. Ooh. Jean Dill. I'll fix you some cake. That's Keep cold. Hey, Gene, we about to go. You know, stay in the kitchen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Time for ice cream. <laughs> Time for ice cream. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Look, Not type of ice champions cream. Champions her ass. Like, yes, yeah, she is with I. People hail her now. Like, yeah, hell me, everybody. Yeah. Like, I don't know how long I'm going to keep doing this shit with Faith, man. She getting old. She was fine. You know, that black don't crack. But Faith, I mean, you know. She cracked. She <laughs> back when I met her. But now, you know, I got to go on the red carpet and shit. She be, I don't know, man. I'm going to have to stop fooling with Faith. Anybody want faith? Because I'm done with faith. Like, I'm gonna, you know, I gotta keep my swag young. You know, I'm a, black don't crack. I don't look old. You know what I'm saying? Anybody want faith? Nigga Stevie J be like, I'll take it. <laughs> Stevie, Stevie J. Stevie. I'm done. Stevie J. The rat man. If you Come don't want, don't waste your time. That's the look splinter. That's what said, that is. Man, I'll take the splinter. Looked up at the house and said, mm, I'll take a <laughs> oh man, rubbing them grimy hands together. Looked up, Looked up at the house and said, mm, I'll take a <laughs> take a he said, I'll take a oh, man. <laughs> Cold world, cold. 
that Tupac song um uh, is standing strong today, huh? What's what? Hit him up. Oh, <laughs> First of all, I <laughs> Mary's face is priceless. <laughs> That's why I left it there. That's why I left it there. Boy, y'all and y'all rest the itch face. <laughs> well, that's why you was like, I, I, I be thinking, I'm like, nah, y'all don't see what we see. Now you get to see what we see, right? <laughs> y'all and that rest an itch face, oh, boy. There he is. That's that rest an itch face for real. If you don't want to, don't waste your time. <laughs> now don't worry guys we are almost finished yes we are i didn't even take no nap or nothing i'm all up man see this like, Jenny, I'm, I'm getting tired of your sh it's crazy TV said, I'll take off. Oh, <laughs> Stevie. Stevie. Hmm. Freaky. He might be the freaky. He, man, the, look how freaky he is. He, he's like, boy. He's looking at her chest like, ooh. <laughs> oh, A deviant. It's just, you need counseling. <laughs> TB a scoundrel. To wife and pro proposed to TB? Biggie's wife. TB. He got TB. down on one knee for faith. Mm -hmm. for, for real this time, he said. Dog, where is the loyalty? You shouldn't even look at you shouldn't even look at her like that out of respect for big. But that she video they did was nice. Who on her chest? He covered it, made her cover it up with a rose. Like I don't even want to think about that nigga no more. Mm -hmm. Are Damn. you serious? <laughs> the insecurity the that's mm -hmm. chasing you down the street. Let Stevie J walk into your local Publix and see what happened, man. They're gonna jump from behind the register. They're gonna stop making the sandwiches. Jump up and down. They're gonna follow him around the store like he Christ. Ew, Let who? Him go to old Nat who? and go up in that Walmart. <laughs> hey, Walmart. Crazy. Who are these women he speaks of? <laughs> the please tell me, please, God, please. Fans. Inquiring <laughs> minds want to know. All out of spite. All out of spite for Biggie, man. Hold on, no, put that one on, man. All out of spite. Out of spite. How long? How long? Was it before Biggie? Was it during a while? This ain't new. Definitely not at y'all age. This ain't something new. This is a forever moment. A take a chance moment. She probably wanted to be married to him all along. She probably told him. That she wanted to be with him all along. It was somebody that caught her eye when she was with Big and they would flirt. And Stevie can't be trusted at all. <laughs> nope. Stevie. Damn, Stevie. Stevie. Big couldn't even. But then again, you know what? He probably knew. That it was all just a facade. And she knew it was a facade as mm. well. You know, all of it was fake. 
for the cameras. What about when the cameras mm-hmm. off and Biggie ain't even looking at face? When Biggie with Charlie Baltimore and Diddy with everybody. Everybody. The free golf continues. Everybody. <laughs> this some old porn Diddy shit. For the uh, everybody with the everybody with the entertainers. F-O. Porn stars? Yeah. I would hate to think so, but damn. Get that's the how they down, baby. They get on the camera. Be grinding on each other in Jamaica. Who does that? <laughs> Them. They can't even get off the boat because they're too busy squatting on each other. That's nasty. And they old. And still with the free. Like, for <laughs> you, y'all got that George Clinton playing in the background. Like, we not that nasty. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Right, Goodbye. And find Jesus, man. Still want to party. Like the party over here. Matter of fact, we should just move in again and crack, 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 crack. Oh, man. Like we got a supply. We got, you know, we got a stash. You know, got chicken in the freezer. Popsicles, ice cream. Like, yeah, man, you know, do a little, you know, you just sit back, watch cartoons, man. Wait for Diddy to call, tell me he ready to play. Type of shit. He a Diddy, a Diddy, D, one of his minions, a Diddy minion. Uh-uh-uh. He's still, he letting them know. Diddy didn't let got their back. Stevie's still down for the freak off. <laughs> Stevie stands with Diddy. No weapons formed against us shall prosper, brother. Still in the club. You after hours, man, looking for the freak. Look at that booty, face. Booty, booty, booty. Oh, still out here, Puff. I ain't left the club. Puff and hip hop in Atlanta. There's some strange things walking around here. Get the poke. Yeah, they. I hope they don't find out about Jocelyn for real. <laughs> <laughs> and if they ever find out about Jocelyn for real, for real, I'm done anyway. I'm just gonna stay with the team, man. I can't give me another cigarette. <laughs> TBJ has been down with Bad Boy for decades, and the producer is standing by his longtime friend. Y'all know why people don't want to say nothing bad about Stevie J. Which they could. Because he reminds y'all of somebody. A rat. That y'all don't want to talk bad about. A rat. That's this plan. Stevie J, a brother out here. He, Stevie ain't do nothing to nobody, man. People don't want to put bad stuff on Stevie J. Huh? Like, why he got to be the bad guy? Who are people these people he J speak of? Guy. He's a you freak. you know somebody that reminds you of Stevie J, and you don't want to see them go down for no crime. That's what it's all about. He got family vibes. That's all it is, man. Stevie J to do that at the barbecue. And if the police show up, you don't want to see him go to jail. <laughs> but the truth is, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I could see it, man. Baby. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all need to see this. Wait a second. Second. Twins. Where have you been? <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute, my sister. Oh my goodness. Erica Badu got a new man. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see, I see what it is, Miss Badu. We ain't even gonna talk about that though. We ain't even gonna talk about that. Who this man, Huppo? Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God. Quincy. Quincy. He is they look like some snakes. 
He tugging her with this hand. Damn, what you want her to do? Mm-hmm. You can, she already in her that? seat. That ain't enough. Mm-hmm. I just pull her body into his body. Like, your body all over my body, baby. Mm-mm. He did her worse than Michael Jordan. He pulling her in while he kissing her like, what the fuck? She looking like, oh my gosh, is this really happening? She just, just got to... Why is she holding on to him? Like, like, God bless your heart. Right. I just, oh I just my out. God, Mary, you smell amazing. I just, I was like, oh my God, the huh? Can't even keep his composure. Damn. Oh, that like, was Quincy I Jones. I remember that moment. She's like, that's why this my nigga. Like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. he's that Quincy. Look how she looking at Dre. He ain't never. Yo, I heard stories about Dr. Dre trying some bitches and broke their heart. Rest in peace to Jewel. Hold on, man. He like a decent. He does like a decent man in that picture until he made that damn whisker face. Oh, oh man, y'all need to see this. Y'all stay tuned. They man. make an odd couple and like Tony Braxton and Birdman. Uh, that notification button. Subscribe to the I'm channel. Glad they Pretty broke party, up, please, man. I would really appreciate that. I got a jewel for y'all right here. You know that's right. right. Like, now, so comment, and channels. subscribe. Okay, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, right let's get into now. This. We got up in here before we even continue. What time is it? Oh, man, I'm pulling another all-nighter. Yeah. Shout no, out to him. Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans. This is all for entertainment, man. Yo, leave them comments in the comment section. I see Jason Wildboy kicking it. Anthony Murray. Bruce Rice. 12 still here. He's such a musical genius, you can't rush his process. He's slow as hell, though, but it's worth the wait because he's going to come up with a hit. You know what I mean? See, she's smart. You know, you can't you can't just sit up there and blast somebody on camera. Can't sit up there and blast somebody on camera. On to November. It ain't good for media. (laughs) You can make your point. <clears throat> but rest in peace to Joel. She did everything she did with class because she was she a West Coast. She was a West Coast chick. And if she wanted to keep it a thousand, if it wasn't no cameras, she probably would have laid into that mug with no problem. <clears throat> but she a classy woman. She she said what she said, but she kept it classy. And rest in peace to her, man. No doubt. That's all we going to do on Joel. Um, matter of fact, hold on, y'all. We gotta do a little bit more of that. Hold on. Oh my goodness. You like a brother. Uh, you know, you like my brother. I was like, nah, that'll mess up our whatever. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking at him like a brother, you know what I mean? I'm like, thank you, you know, you know. And crack it. It's going down because this was like after Shoes and death row, you know, had broke up and everything. So in my mind, I'm like, Shit. them two right there, mind. boy. Ooh, child. He said, "Who gonna take her?" He said, "Stevie sent me." <laughs> I'm too done with that part. Stevie said, "I'll take her off your hands. I'll take her off your hands. Don't mind if I do." Don't mind. And get some of that biggie money back. You want to just give me some of that biggie money. Back. And I was like, in my mind, I'm like, did I just hear him say a threesome? Uh oh. So I'm trying to, you know, like. This is why I don't like to talk while the video playing. Now I'm about to rewind it because. Dre, I look at you. She said, Dre. We still on Dre or Diddy? Hold on, y'all. We gotta do a little bit more of that. Hold on. And I'm like, Diddy went over there. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking at him like a brother. You know what I mean? I'm like, thank you. You know, you know. And crack it. It's going down because this was like after. Shug and Death Row, you know, had broke up and everything. 
So in my mind, I'm like, shit, Dre finna put out my album. I'm finna be on and cracking. Yeah, he was like, uh, what's up, yeah, I'm like, what's up, what's up, Dre? He's like, you looking good. Mm? I'm like, thank you, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Because I'm looking at him like a brother, you know what I mean? I'm like, thank you, you know, you know, I'm lost weight. And he was like, oh, my girl Vivian over there. He was like, I'm going to do a threesome with you. And I was like, in my mind, I'm like, did I just hear him say a threesome? That's Drake. I'm like, you know, be calm or whatever. I'm like, Dre. I look at you like a brother. That was his way of telling you to get the fuck out my face. Oh, chat. Get out my face. Hollywood for real. Like, you can't do nothing for me, but you want me to do the world for you. He knew exactly what to say mm -mm. <clears throat> to get you to scurry running the other way, man. He knew exactly what to say. Cause he knew that ain't what, that wasn't what you was trying to hear. My mouth. He tired of people coming up to him trying to get a cookie. Oh he like, bitch, how about you give me a cookie? Oh, everybody got their hand out, skinning and grins, smiling, all up in somebody. But move. He told her straight up, like, man, look, what's up with them cheeks? And he probably could have, not with her, but other time he probably smashed people and ain't do them a damn favor. Like that's what you get for being a cheesy rat. Like we don't love them hoes, ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Damn, that's messed up. At least he was straight up with it. It wasn't trying to entertain her ass. Yo, rest the gear off the screen, bro. The screen, bro. <laughs> he said, "Get off the screen." <laughs> like this, my nigga. You get what he can give him what he want. He's gonna give you what you want. Ooh. Like this, my nigga. Dre, he gonna, he gonna, you know, he gonna get you straight. <laughs> Type of, she been with all of the, all of the, Damn. all of the dudes in the industry, mm, mm, and mm. find the, find it. Find it. Who is that find besides it. Dre? Find it. Ain't hitting Mary no J. More. Oh man! Ooh. Man, she was. Ooh. She making. She was making that big money. Damn, she look good. She still look good. They'd be like, Mary, <laughs> you got the young generation trying to holler at Mary. I like that black dress. Yeah, I don't give a damn how old she oh, is, son. Mary always dress. She still look good. She got her own. Um, hold on. What type of shit is this? Sister love. Oh, she's selling that, buddy. Probably a business that's with her and her sister. MC Light, Moni. Love. No, that's uh, LLP. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, his wife's stuff. Love. Hold on. Yeah, she did that business when she got the C word. What the hell is going on, man? The answer with the C. Sister, I don't know. I know what you talk about. I was talk. I was whispering because he was whispering. <laughs> she all over the board. The Why big... does she look like she crying? Are like she about to transform into her true self? Uh -huh. <laughs> the other demon. He's stupid. She blowing kisses at hoes. Like take this bitch. Give another one to Lizzo. Oh. The sisterhood. This is a part I never delve into or try to dive into because as a man, it's not my place to they sitting on each other laps and shit. It's not my place to talk about the sisterhood, man. Oh the Clark sisters. Oh. The Clark sisters, a gospel choir. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mary looking like I don't know Jesus. Oh, like, sure shit. you do, Mary. Now take the picture. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know Jesus. I'm so done. Like, but they in a hotel. Of course, oh, you come on, Jesus. man. They, ooh, I can't be talking about no church like this. 
Man. <clears throat> they all in the hotel. It is what it is. Next picture, next slide, man. This is crazy. History love. That's what that home um, girls trip and shit be about. Like just us girls. Mm-mm-mm. Since they be in a whole relationship. Well, them men take they men trip, so oh well. So the game so go both right. ways. Y'all talking about Diddy being with all these men and stuff. Y'all don't even want to get started on the other side of the game. Allegedly. I doubt it, but you know, people be talking. Yeah. What the fuck? They do it big for the girls. I'm talking about color purple and his mother. Usher all purpled up. I got represent for the girls. I know what they do, you know. I got friends on both sides. You know, Diddy taught me about the Diddy life. Me about the life. I learned the life a long time ago, Mary. You taught me about the life same way you taught Danny boy about the life. Oh, Ain't no. Ain't wrong with a young fella. I'm saying he's young. He's pretty. I'm saying. Her chemistry. You could look at their chemistry, man. Hold on. Y'all want better? Hold up. I ain't talking bad about Mary. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Look. He leaning back. She up, she pulling forward. <laughs> like she the one leading the chase. She looked like a lion so, that's just uh, called a gazelle. No. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. She put her paws on that man. Cougar. And pounced out, out snatched him up while he was on stage. She looked like, Whoa, <laughs> you could see her fangs. Like, Dang. Dang. Yo, ass walking through the jungle. You look, you hear them, them leaves and shit. Like, Oh, damn, you got on an icy chain, 360 waves. You got a bends. Your baby going to rise, you're going to ravage your body. Oh, your young ass not sure burn your my territory. And my rabbit, my Volkswagen rabbit, <laughs> beat up, and now we we pulling our yachts up together. I know. You know, man, it's beautiful. It's be- I love you, sis. I love. I you, love queen. you too. I love you too, and it made me so proud to be able to let you know to let you see me like that. You know, you pull up on your own yacht. I just never pull up. She's like, yeah, this is mine. It's mine. Yeah, yeah, it's mine. Yeah, no, we had a good time in Italy. We went and um, had dinner, spent a lot of time with each other. Talk. It's time to redefine web hosting with Bluehost Cloud. The you, new you know he didn't like that. Oh, he got what? He got what? Creators of WordPress. That she wrote up he with got her got own yacht. Got... Damn. Oh. Did maybe, maybe before? not. Depend what know what they doing them yachts, girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the FOs, the FOs, the FOs. Ew. Yeah, you doing what I taught you, girl. Doing what I taught you. <laughs> before we get out of here, let me double check and make sure. Let me go through the docs, see if we covered everything, man. Um, no, get it again. No, get the damn shit. <laughs> No, put it right there. Yeah. Okay. Deal with your kooky ass. Single and kooky. Super duper kooky. With a dog. She just sued for her abuse. $30 million for her abuse. And you dealing with were her, her ex guy and got the nerve to be talking about abuse with Mary J. Blige, who been with Diddy for the past 30 years. The nerve for y'all to speak out for women that's that's trying to get over the abuse, that's not trying to deal with the mm-hmm. abuse. Y'all speaking mm-hmm. on it and y'all still involved with it. Yep. The nerve. Mm-hmm. Then you got people that listen to this shit and take heed. And nod their head and put that in their brain. <clears throat> he is finished there, right? 
So now we're going to do a little commentary before we get out of here. But I'm going to leave it with this picture. I'm going to leave it with that picture to get back to where we started from. Right? Now we're going to take it back. What are your feelings about the uh, the video? Because you wasn't up here at that time. Because at that point, I'm not showing it, but I'm just doing audio. audio. But what do you what feel, do you about, feel the, about the... Uh, the fact that Them he took, be, uh, took her from D Ray, um, and then she ended up with Diddy is wild. Mm -hmm. She was even with the other guy. What guy? Jason Derulo. Oh goodness. Hmm. Yeah, she's been she's she's Tupac. I've been around, and they they said, "Listen, you better have a baby by him. Better have a baby by her, so we can get you later." <laughs> wow. Yep, that yep, is crazy. That is and you heard how um he didn't even claim the child in the beginning. No, he didn't. And he didn't know if it was his. He and, just came uh, out of the police report. And he said she had a bumpy JJ. That's what D-Roy said. Now, why would you say that? And why would you be mad unless you have it? And then it was something stating that, if you remember, that 50 Cent did have the H word, the herps. So now, um, I think all of them in Hollywood got the herps. Not all of them. I'm just saying, a lot of them. You gotta stay up saying you too. Wow, and this is yeah, allegedly entertainment purposes only. <laughs> but um, mm, 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 mm. sometimes that man look all I see is Marquise, right? Depending on how yeah, he I'm wears his hair. Mm-hmm. Cause that's Marquise right there that we looking at. Mm, Cause the lower he wears his hair, he look more like himself. When his hair is in his natural state like that, they are twins. But that little boy, Saya, he and he'll be twelve in September. He looked more like his mother. So, if if his mother is the one that got you, his then the son is gonna get you too, because he looked like the mama. Yep. Not saying that it's any significance. I don't even know why, but I'm just saying you too busy. And then you only see your son five times in a year. So each time he was on TV, that's the only time you see him. But you know what? Let's say that he do get custody. That kid is going to give him H-E-L-L. -L. You hear me? Big time. Yeah. That little boy is going to have to You want to play daddy of the year? All right, I'm going to show you daddy of the year. And then, busy as he is, how are you gonna? How are you gonna be a dad? You got like fifty shows. Show, you right. doing world oh. concerts. Even though you can say I'll take him with me, you know, they got answer for everything. By the end of the day, people will listen to what they want to listen to. They're gonna hear what they want to hear. But at the end of the day, how are you gonna do that if, uh, realistically, not people who is 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 in the fifty cult, right? Anybody's in a 50 cent coat, of course they're not gonna hear. How how can you be a dad for real? You're gonna take her away for what a nanny? And then also, how old is her year now? He'll be 12, he's 11. Mm -hmm. That's how much she was hitting. We didn't even know the boy was turning 11 already. I mean, turning 12. Well, if he was 13, I don't know, it might be still because he's 12. But normally they will have a mediator for him and the mediator will ask him, what do you want to do? Do you want to go with your mom or do you want to go with your dad? So it's mm. not all the way up to him. Just I'm going to go and get him. No, that, that'll that be the first time this cheap person. I don't know what he's going to do with his money when he leaves planet Earth. They're going to probably make him a tomb or something because he's going to be the first man that take his money with him. Right. <laughs> Right, but um, 
That'll be the first time he's gonna go against all of that. And by that, that boy can have anything, whatever he named, he can have. Just so he can say, I wanna go on my dad, right? He probably gonna put his, you know how they got them big old houses? He probably gonna sit there like, I'm making your own house, right? That's right. the I, I, yeah. guest house, yes. is that your house? And you got tree house, right? You come stay, right? You, Matt, I know you want to stay there. That's all, all yours. Look about me, little old apartment, right? <laughs> she got a little old house. Your house will be bigger than your mama house. And you can tell her to come see you. See, that's how they do that. What? My mommy can come? Sure, your mommy can come see you. Mm -hmm. But she ain't getting none of my money. Men, me make me laugh because your money going to go somewhere, right? It's going to go somewhere. I like when y'all think, well, I ain't giving it to her. But you're going to leave it to somebody. Well, it's whoever I choose to leave it to. But it won't be her. Baby, if you do go first, it is going to her. All right. Because them kids going to spend their money right on their mama. Absolutely. They be making it seem like, because, you know, well, you cut the woman out. She may not get nothing now. But she'll probably get it later. She ain't got to get it now. It's like D Way son is probably taking care of their mother right now. Because there is no way once I got access to money, I'm going to take all your name and make sure my mama's good. Because I could yeah. never feel right. I'm in mansions going everywhere and my mama's stuck in the PJ. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do it. Yeah, as that's, a that's, that's crap. That's crap. Or my mom stuck in this little old thing and I'm got mansions. Every day I'm like, oh, man, can we do something for my mother? Can we do something? I mean, that's what normal kids think. And even though you do for your mother, not with my money, that's all right. But I'm glad I can use your name, Pops. It's going to get me in some doors, Pops. But he made sure Marquise can't do that with his mother. I mean, he could I mean, whatever he's doing, but fine. But, yeah, fine. but Robert's a, a big, a big. No, he cannot because he done blackballed Marquise to the point that people are not working, want to work, and I think that's the most effed up thing you could do. That's all right. It's gonna come back to haunt him. That's I mean, the okay, he yeah, okay. Yeah. Leave me alone. Don't deal with me. But you don't got so powerful that who's gonna deal with him? Because they don't want. His smoke. He has never he said publicly said. that I heard of. Well, if he works good and he's a good, if he's good for the job, give it to him. Hey, yeah, I got no smoke. He just, I just don't I f, with f with him. That don't mean right. you can't f with him. F with him. Mm -hmm. No, I've never heard that either. Well, with the well, type of parties. They have, of course, much of Hollywood has the herbs. Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. That's why they don't care. And then they might say, listen, let's get this all, get this now and get it over with. And then all of a sudden he messing with the girl Diamond or whatever her name. They mentioned her name, her, her biological, I mean, her, bi her birth name. But... He, I remember one day they was joking and she was, they was laying in bed and she said she wanted something. And then he was saying something, now nah, my money. I'm like, oh, goodness, them cancers with them. But they, I don't know, every cancer taking their money with them. I, I guess so. But this what? She gonna get him and her son gonna get him. So you yep. keep going right ahead. And you better hope them two brothers don't get close. If I was definitely happy calling him, Marquise, how you doing, baby? Here's your little, here's your little brother. Because that's the only sibling that her, her son has for now. That's her only sibling. Why make him grow up an only child when he has siblings? Yes. A sibling. Because exactly. um, he got an older sister from um, his mama, um, Marquise. Marquise is not the only sibling. He's the baby, but I don't know. If she. I seen another little boy in the video. So I don't know if she had another son or that's the sister's son. But he got siblings. This one don't have no sibling. Why would you take his own his only brother from him? Right. But people like, oh, he don't mess with him. He got to work. Well, how are you going to work? 
in the passion that he want to work if his own father have him blackballed from everything. That's a dirty world right there. Dirty world. It's a dirty world. But it won't be nothing. 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 You got to finish that. <laughs> Have you heard it's a man's world with Pavarotti? Pover I think that's how you say it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to listen to it when we get off of here. That right mm -hmm. there is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. like, oh. mm. Mm -hmm. To have James Brown follow up. Yes, both of them. Oh, yeah, both of them. Well, anywho, we are about finished because it's way past my morning bedtime. And I'm going to, don't worry, I'm going to do a breath a coffee run in the morning. Right, but we're gonna end it. You got something else to say, Queen? No, we just gonna stay tuned and see how this gonna um all Play out with, Curtis. <laughs> with, with, with how he did what actually because it's not even just how he did my key, but yes, definitely it's about that for me, but also how he's doing the other child too. I, I, it woke me up when I was young, and that's what made me learn how to treat kids better. I don't know if y'all remember, and and what was that? Back to the Future, and and he was like, yeah, he's like, but the kids, but the kids, and the next one, the kids were older, and I was like, wow, the kids in no reality, look how quick like our kids got grown, like then just, just like two days ago, he was following me everywhere. Yes. Now I can't get a call. Right. No, wait. Oh, my gosh. This was so funny, right? Me and my son are going to the storage locker today. And my other son, my older son calls. <laughs> and so um, he had just passed us by and saw us. It was so cute and adorable. I'm just like, I love my son so much. Like, they had the baby with them, too. I was like, I was like, tell him to pull up. But he had to go to work and he was taking care of business so i was like i'll see them soon yeah yeah but we gotta see them soon before they couldn't get from under us now we gotta see them i see you when i see you but thank you so much queen beautiful queen you are thank, thank, you, thank you for coming you. up here and blessing the panel yes as always it's been a pleasure oh, well, yeah. well, let's let's get happy together okay let's do it now where the happy go? Where, where you go, happy? Here we go. Let's get happy as we walk out of here. Have a blessed night, everyone. Rest well. Yes, rest well. Don't get in no trouble. Don't do don't 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 do diddy. <laughs> don't yes, no diddy. diddy. No, did it? Uh, did it? Did it? What?